up guys and girls, Bork Brogan back here for some more racing life in Automobilista 2. Welcome to the stream, good to see you, wherever you are, whatever time it is. Thank you so much for tuning in, absolutely fantastic to have you here. Olaf, Sean, S. James, Wynand, Mark, Ricardo, JDF, and of course Streamlabs. Great to see you here, great to have you with us. <coughs> now... If you hadn't already guessed by the thumbnail, if you hadn't already read the uh, video description, if you hadn't basically, if, if you've never heard of Bulk Brogan before ever in your life, then let me introduce you. I'm from a place in New South Wales called Parks, and there was a slight run-in with the local authorities there, to be honest with you. Um, to the point where I had to flee the country, and I en ended up in South America, in Brazil specifically with one goal, to rebuild my motorsport career, to start from the very bottom, work my way back up to the top again. This is part five of my racing life career in Automobilist 2, and we've seen hot cars, we've seen Copa FL, we've seen Formula V, we've seen some GT5, we've seen all sorts really, but things are about to just step up a little notch because Today is the day where we have to choose between two different series. We can go truck racing, or we can progress from the Formula V ch uh, Championship to the uh, to the world stage. Now, I will go through that very shortly. I'll I'll give you the full details of what we're, we're dealing with here in Racing Life. But Racing Life is basically an app, a companion app for Automobilist 2 that simulates money, simulates fame, simulates driver experience, gives you a yearly schedule to race towards. It, it's a full-blown career mode for Automobilist 2, and it's absolutely fantastic. There is a link in the video description if you guys, if you, if you want to try it out, if you like what you see today. I've been enjoying it so far, I've been thoroughly enjoying it so far. But let's switch over to Racing Life itself and let's get stuck in. So there we go, there's the app. And uh, as you can see, things might look slightly different. That's because since our last voyage into the motorsport arena, there has been an update. Racing Life has um, has gone from version 1.2 to version 1.3. Um, now, what are some of the new things? Well, there's quite a few new things, actually. Let's continue, and you'll see straight away. It looks slightly different. It does look slightly different. There's now a trophy cabinet. There's a driver history page. There's achievements. And there is also new series to take part in, and there's new cars to buy as well, or lease if you uh, if you can't afford them. Potato, good to see you. <laughs> Just you wait for it, mate. There will become there will come an opportunity to turn that hat around. Now let me just uh, show you the strat board. There are no strats today, it's your choice. So I'm going to wait for chat to fill up a little bit while I'm explaining racing life and the new changes. And once we get a few more people in, then we can start a vote in chat to basically see what series we're going to race in. Now you may... you may notice here on the top of the screen, it is June 2023. You are not imagining things. It is actually June 2023. Uh, basically, what's happened since the last stream... <clears throat> excuse me. ...is that uh, Deutsche Post, my uh, sponsor on the bottom left, have paid for a, v for a year's vacation. They paid for me to uh, go off to the Bahamas for a year, drink cocktails on the beach, and um, progress to the next season because one of the downsides of introducing new cars and new tracks and new championships into racing life is that they don't kick in until the season starts again so we could have carried on with our career and we could have been stuck in the choices stuck with the tracks stuck with the cars and not seen any of these brand new awesome shiny features until we finished the full year's worth of racing which to be honest Deutsche Post is such a good sponsor they paid me <clears throat> they paid for me to have a year off so I'm now in exactly the same spot as I would have been in June 2022. So nothing has changed apart from the fact there are a whole heap of new options. The world's moved on. I've come back from my vacation. Uh, they also paid all my car leases as well, so I have uh, not lost any money. Uh, the year of rehab has been absolutely fantastic. I went, I went to the Bahamas Potato and all I got, all I got was this stupid hat. <laughs> Kevin M. Hopefully you'll get some sleep soon, mate. Don't, don't, don't let me keep you up too late. 
Um, okay, well, let's have a look at some of the new series that are available in Racing Life now. You may see we've got, uh, where we are. We've got the LMP3 championships. They're, they're the same. European Truck Racing Championship. There we go. That's that's one of the things that was there last time. Now, unfortunately, we have missed the start of the Supercars Championship, a brand new feature in Racing Life 1.3. There's DTM Classic as well. You've got Porsche Carreras, DTM Trophies. <clears throat> You've got Caterham Races now. But if we look further along in the year... <clears throat> sorry, I've not done a very good job of shaving my moustache. I'm, I'm getting all kinds of asbestos in the back of my throat already! And we're not even five minutes into this stream. There's WEC as well, Potato. Now, the thing about WEC, World Endurance Championship, uh, where are we? In June. I can't race that because I don't have enough fame. Uh, Caterham Academy, you've got IMSA, uh, ADAC GT Masters, GT5, FAA Super Trucks, NASCAR, We've got NASCAR Euro Series now, Caterham Championships, Mitsubishi Championships. There are a whole stack of new series available to race. And also, these are the cars that I currently own. These are the cars that I've been racing in the last few uh, last few seasons I've taken part in. If we go to the car dealer, you will now see we have some GT1s available. Where are they? Copa Trucks. GT1s, there we go. So we've got brand new GT1s I can get back in my fancy, well, my fancy McLaren. Uh, apparently a guy called DDF won a championship in the McLaren GT1 a few months ago. Um, Volker would like to try that, very much so. You've got the Chevrolet Montanas, you've got the Lancers, you've got the Caterhams, you've got the Super V8s, you've got the Sprint cars. There's all sorts of weird and wonderful cars that are now available. <laughs> Mr. Bishy Championship ASAP. Well, let's go back to the championship pages. Late, and let's have a look. So that kicks off in September. So that kicks off in September. So that's not too bad. <clears throat> Excuse me. We are currently in June. And like I said at the start of the stream, like I said on the video thumbnail, like I said in the video title, and um, we've, we've got a decision basically. So we've just finished the GT5 Championship, which we won. We have... Uh, We've also just finished the Formula V Championship, which we also won. So we've got no more commitments in June. So, the choice that we face today is we either sign up for the European Truck Racing Championship, which we can do because we've got enough driver fame there. It's a very popular series. We race in the trucks at Snetterton, Nürburgring, Donington and Alton Park which sounds absolutely mental. Or, what we can also do, I mean, we could probably do this anyway, but we're going to have to wait until next month, is we sign up for the Formula V World Championship. Now, we have 16 fame, $81,000 in the bank, and we already have a Formula V car that we're already leasing, so we don't have to purchase a car or anything for that. So, we can do the European Formula V Championship, we can do the Formula V World Championship as well. We can basically take part in these two Formula V series, which we are coming hot off the heels of a series win as well. I think it was the... Uh, was it the American Formula... Yeah, it was the American Formula V series it won. So we, we are the American Formula V Championship. Uh, the American Formula V Champion. So we can take it now to the European stage, or we can just go straight to the World Championship. Now, with the World Championship... $50,000 on offer for prize money and uh, competition popularity of 40. Now the World Championship takes us to Adelaide, Santa Cruz do Sol, Termas de Rio Hondo, Autodromo Yaocacha, which is Ibarra, Guapor, and Nürburgring Sprint. So it's quite a few South American tracks in there still. Um, that is a good point <clears throat> that you make, Potato. Because if we, if we finish the GT5 Championship, now, there's not really much to do with the GT5 car. Because the next time we're going to use it is the GT5 Euro Trophy. But do I want to make... Uh, do I want to make an effort to keep hold of that car? Do I want to keep paying the lease on that car? Well, the GT5 Euro Trophy... Uh, Silverstone National, Silverstone International, the big experiment. It's it's not going to kick off until August, so I'm going to be paying it for June, July. I'm going to be wasting money on it, and I, I don't think we need to. I don't think we need to keep the GT5. We've got the Summer Racing Club event as well, 
Let's see how it goes. I reckon our days of GT5 racing are behind us. So let's get rid of that car out of the garage. That's going to save us $600 a month, which, you know, now that we're rolling around in $81,000 of cash, it's probably... It's probably not that big of a deal, but every dollar is going to add up very quickly. And I'm going to have the bank, and I've got the sponsors all over me. So yeah, let, let's stop the lease on that one. So here we go. Stop leasing the Ginetta GT5 now. Are you sure you want to stop leasing it? Yes. So we're definitely going to have a Formula V. Now this is where the vote comes in. And this is, this is the whole point of this stream. This is your decision. You get to vote on whether you think I should do the Formula Trucks, the uh, Formula Trucks, the Truck Racing Championship now, or whether we give that a skip and we go straight into the two Formula V series in July. It is your choice. I'm going to put a vote up in chat very quickly, but apparently there is a special thanks page now in version 1.3, which uh, Ricardo wants me to check out. So where do I find that special thanks page? Is it in Racing Life? Here we go. Thank you for playing Racing Life. There's the backstory for those of you who don't know. This app is developed by Ricardo Pombero and Co. And it's an absolutely fantastic app. Uh, they do have a donation page to uh, donate uh, to help support and rebuild Ukraine. U24.gov.ua. I strongly recommend if you are that way inclined to uh, give them a little donation to help along. It's a fantastic cause. But let's have a look at the special thanks page. <laughs> who's, who's, who's this loser? Who's this loser? I don't know who that guy is, but that... KK Wreck! KK Wreck! <laughs> that was the perfect timing. As soon as I highlighted Bulk Brogan, he's in the fence. He's in the fence. They're both in the fence. They're all in the fence. That was the most perfectly timed subscribe. Thank you very much for the subscribe, by the way, KK. Much appreciated. And thank you as well to... Uh, I, I missed you before in the stream, but I didn't miss I didn't miss you in my mind. Pablo, welcome to the channel. I saw you subscribe not too long ago. Great to have you here. I hope you enjoy what you see. All right, then. Well, let's get back to it. We got a poll to run, guys. I'm going to I'm going to start the poll off in chat right now. So let's create a poll. And I think I know what the answer to this poll is going to be. So, next series. As always, we like to have a little bit of democracy on this uh, on this channel. I like to leave this up to you because I like to consider this to be not just Bulk Brogan's racing career, but all of our racing careers. We're all in this together. So, next series, question mark. Trucks or Formula Vs? Boom. There is now a vote in chat. I'm going to get these off for a start. So I can actually read chat and see what's going on. Jimmy the Bear, welcome. Good to see you. And uh, I did have a request from uh, Very Important Potato to reverse this hat. Because this... It's a rather special hat. It is a built-in hat and sunglasses at the same time. Bear with me one second. There we go. Check that out. Isn't that just the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen, yet also the most bulk broken thing you've ever seen in your life as well. <laughs> and the best part is... These are actual functional sunglasses as well. Somehow. I'm not exactly sure how they work yet. I haven't figured this one out. Ax accident. Truck and Formula V multiclass. I like the idea. That is a great idea. Um, I, I suppose we could do both, Potato and Colin. I guess it's just... It, one of the things about racing life... I, I have tried, by the way, uh, Potato. They, they don't fit underneath the VR headset, unfortunately. <laughs> they don't fit into, un, underneath the headset, otherwise I'd be all over that. Now, one of the reasons why I was considering not doing both is because there's a registration fee of $7,200 and we'd have to lease a car. Well, a truck in this instance. And 
that is going to cost us. Well, I mean, there's a Mercedes, there's a man, there's a Volkswagen, there's an Iveco, there's a Vulcan. There's, well, there's actually a few different trucks to pick from, actually. Maybe the Mercedes? I don't know. We'll see. But to lease it, it's a one-off payment of nearly 10 grand, and then it's about four grand a month. So that's that's what, say that's, uh, say that's 14 grand there, plus the en entry fee of 7,000. That's basically the best part of 20 grand we got to drop to take part in this championship, which is a quarter of our money. Whereas if we go straight to the Formula V championship, I don't have to spend a single thing because I've already got the car. I just go and basically sign up for not one, but two championships, European Formula V and World Formula V. Yeah, <laughs> potato. <laughs> That's uh, rich coming from the Netherlands. <laughs> By the way, that reminds me. Hello, Jasper. Good to see you. Yes, more to my list too. Right. Uh, I actually haven't ever driven a truck in in uh, in 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 anger, to be honest with you. Now, Ricardo is saying, go and check the history page. So let's go and have a look at this then. There is now a brand new history page in Racing Life, which gives you all of the different things you've done in the past. Now, this has been manually populated by Ricardo, so massive thank you for going through all of my results and putting them into this text file. Uh, it's basically automatically keeps track of your results from the 1.3 update onwards. So here we go. This is this is what we're doing. Um, now if we go back, we can also see major trophies. We have none. No major trophies. I do really like the design of that. That is such a cool little such a cool little uh, display cabinet. If you have a look at the achievements, we do have a few achievements in Racing Life already. Uh, yes, Dad, I won it. Uh, funnily enough, my dad is actually watching right now. Hey, JDF. <laughs> um, and first pole position. Now, Punch of Waterfall is saying trucks. The vote is saying trucks massively. 65% in favor with 23 votes so far. I like it. I like the way this vote is going. Now, I want to point out some other pros and cons of racing in trucks versus not racing in trucks. European Truck Racing Championship, $90,000 and competition popularity of 30. So I can get quite a bit of fame from this and there's only four races. So we got one at Snetterton, we've got one at Nürburgring, Donington and Alton Park. Excuse me. However, we look at the World Formula V Championship, competition popularity of 40. I think it's we're definitely going to go trucks. You guys are voting for trucks so far. So, next question. What kind of truck should we get? I'm going into this blind. So, if we go to the car dealer. Uh, 90k does buy a lot of moustache wax indeed, Mr. Bishy. Um, and Tobias, I haven't actually spent that much time in the race room truck so I'm not too familiar with it this is probably gonna be my well this is gonna be my first actual competitive truck racing scenario but hopefully the uh, the mustache is is gonna it's gonna help out a little bit I'd say a few extra horsepower down the straight blowing in the wind now where are we okay so we got Copa truck oh, we got the Mercedes-Benz We've got the MAN TGX, we've got the Volkswagen Constellation, we've got the Iveco Stralis, and the Vulcan truck. Which one? I'm probably leaning towards the Mercedes. No particular reason why, uh, just because it's at the top of the list. Uh, it is actually the most expensive as well. However, Tobias is saying the Vulcan truck because he knows it's good. I mean, I can't argue with that. Vulcan sounds the coolest. Andre says man won the to won two last championships. Okay. Is it time for another vote? I think it might be time for another vote. So we're definitely going to be doing trucks. We just need to pick on a new truck. So uh, let's start another poll, shall we? Uh, <laughs> this is basically poll, poll simulator 2022. Uh, which truck? So we got, we got the Merc.
We got the man. We got the VW. We got the uh, Iveco. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't let me. It only lets me pick four options. So let's let's just not go for the Iveco because I don't know. Iveco. Oh, I, I, I don't know. I'm gonna, just going to drop the Iveco. So we've got Merc, Man, V Dub, or Vulcan. There we go. Now it's your chance to vote for which uh, for, for which which one we're going to be doing. <laughs> we can pretend that the Vulcan is an Aston Martin. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Oh wow! Oh wow! The votes are coming in so far. Get your votes in, Pablo. You can you can vote. There's a little box that should have popped up in chat. You can click on that. Although the Vulcan has now got half of the votes already. <laughs> be a man. <laughs> Alright, put your votes where your mouth is, guys. Or is it put your money where your mouth is? Put your votes where your mouth is sounds... very wrong for some reason, and I'm not exactly quite sure why. <laughs> the Vulcan has spoiler on the roof. I like aerodynamics. It has 0.5% aerodynamics. Ah! Yes. Um, does one of them come with an ice break? I don't know, Jimmy the Bear, but the one that does is definitely winning in my eyes. Oh, it's definitely looking like it's going to be the Vulcan so far. With 21 votes in, it's got 43% of the votes. So, let's go and see our leasing options for the Vulcan, shall we? So, it's going to be a one-time payment of 9,100, and we're going to be paying 3,900 a month for it. Lena G, the Iveco is faster. Uh, unfortunately, I dropped that from the poll. Because uh, I only let me pick four options on YouTube. So, I had to drop one of them. Um, Vulcan Bomber. Uh, that's actually pretty cool. Vulcan Bomber. That's my mum's favourite um, favorite plane, that. I used to go to a lot of air shows when I was younger, and the Vulcan would always have a massive crowd. It's got to be the Vulcan. It's got to be the Vulcan. You, you guys have spoken. i got to respect that. It's all faster than the Volvo. <laughs> uh, okay, well, let's lease it then, shall we? Let's go and lease the Vulcan truck. Boom, there we go. Let's go and have a look at the garage. Now that's a bit of a contrast, isn't it? We've got a Formula V, which is probably one of the smallest vehicles you can, you can race. And a Copa truck, which is one of the largest vehicles you can race. But now we have a truck in the garage. We've got a big dent on our wallet. So if we go to the competition page... Ah, Vulcan equals Volvo. It's just licensing it things. Well, I guess this is going to put me with one hand tied behind my back then, Lena. It's going to make things a little bit more interesting. Uh, we have a European truck. Oh, it's not, it's, it's not switched on, Mark, but uh, it's probably not a safe thing to do. Good thinking. Very, very sensible, wise thinking. Pablo, thank you very much for the kind words. I appreciate that, mate. Um, I hope that wheel guide got you set up nicely in race room. And uh, there, there will be some more race room content coming very soon. Uh, next week, actually. Or maybe the week after, when this new December update drops. I've got a special coming out for that. So keep an eye on the channel for that, mate. You might enjoy that. Anyway, let's get back in character. European Truck Racing Championship. We are going to register in 3, 2, 1... Boom! Competition registration successful. We did it, guys. We're now in a truck racing championship. <laughs> uh, when is the VR video coming, by the way? Uh, hopefully next week. Um, the race room update video kind of took priority, Ricardo, but the, the VR video is going to be happening very soon. Trust me. Uh, will I be driving with the window down and getting my arm cooked? No, but you're giving me a fantastic idea for next week's thumbnail, Aiden. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, European Truck Racing Championship. So let's have a look at the uh, the details, shall we? There's our prize money. $90,000 on offer. And set up 17 laps worth. Wow, that's, uh, that's quite a long race. 15 laps of the Nürburgring Sprint. El Provos! Barbados, awesome stuff. Congratulations! Chris Matthews! Chris Matthews, thank you for the subscribe, sir! Um, El Provos, congratulations on your countryman. Can't remember his name off the moment, but he uh, basically got 
the Red Bull Reserve Drive, and he's in Formula 2, I believe, this year, or next year. First Barbados drive to do so. That, I saw that on Reddit. That was awesome stuff. All right, then. Yeah, I, I don't think we're going to do 20 laps of Alton Park. These are quite long races. We're going to, Should we do 15 minutes or 10 minutes for these races? But what we do have to do is go and set up an Automobilista 2. So let's switch it over to that. Let's go and set up a championship, shall we? So we don't need our Formula V championship. We've done that. We don't need our Ginetta G40 championship. We've done that. We're going to have a new championship. So let's just remove these rounds. Vehicle classes. We've got the Copa truck. And we want to get rid of GT5 as well. So that's done. So we've got Copa truck coming up. Racing life. How many opponents does it say we should have? Uh, 11. So these are pretty small grids, but then these are very big vehicles. So we want to basically set this to 11. And we're going to basically keep the scoring as standard. We don't need to mess around with that too much. Copa Trucks, continue. Now, Snetterton 200. So let's select a track. Uh, we're going to go for Snetterton. That's not, that's the 300, that one. We don't want that one. Come on. Snetterton, is that it? There we go, yeah. Snetterton. Yes, I like that one. That's the one with the big long straights. That's good. So, as is traditional, we're not going to have any practice. It's just going to be qualifying and 10 minutes of it as well. I'm going to change the session settings. We're going to have it on random. One weather slot on random, because we've had a few issues with real weather playing up in the last few streams. Uh, start time of 11 a.m. And then race one. Uh, should we do 15 minutes? Uh, or 10 minutes? JDF Doggo. Zane Maloney, that's right, El Provos. Um, but we got a 20 minutes, we got a 15 minutes, and we got a we got a 10 minutes as well. Um, let's have a look then, guys. I reckon we're gonna go for 15, or maybe maybe 10, maybe maybe 10, because they're all pretty short circuits. Okay, our standing starts or rolling starts. What do trucks do in real life? I'm really not sure. Standing starts? Let's do standing starts. I'm gonna go down for a 10 minute race. And... Custom dates. This is gonna be taking place in June. Say 20th of June, 2021. So the, uh, the temperature's are right. We got real time progression. We got one weather slot and that's set to random as well. Okay, cool. Real life is rolling. Okay, let's do rolling then. Formation lap now. Let's just get straight into it. Okay, cool. Right, well, that's our race configured. And we'll use those settings for the whole season. So let's go back. So Snetterton 200 is the first uh, first race. And we have Nürburgring Sprint, Donington National, and Alton Park Fosters. Okay, so Nürburgring Sprint... That's going to be fun with the hairpins. Nürburgring Sprint 2020 or Sprint S 2020? It doesn't say... Sprint. Let's just go Sprint. Okay. Uh, next one was... Let's have a look. Uh, Nürburgring Sprint. Donington National. Okay, so next one was Donington National. So... Select a track, Donington National. Cool. And the last one was... Alton Park Fosters. Select a track, Alton Park Fosters. That's going to be interesting with the elevation changes. But these are all pretty short laps. Or short distance laps. They're probably going to take quite a while. you got to drive it like it's a Greenwood with the speed of an NSU. <laughs> that sounds like the worst possible combo to buy. Because the Greenwood is great because it has so much speed. You take away the speed, what's the Greenwood got left? Just a lot of noise. 
and eagles and flames. So, I don't know, we'll see. Alright, Stetton 200, Nürburgring Sprint, Donington National, Alton Park Fosters, all with random weather. Let's do this. Now, selected vehicle is going to be... it was... the Vulcan. What livery do we have? Well, there isn't really a yellow livery. And that's normally what I would go for, bulk would pick. So, there's an orange one. There's two orange ones. It's, uh, green or blue? Uh, probably go for the blue one, I'd say. Yeah, let's go for the blue one. Alright then. I've got some nice diesel power. Got my manual shifter. H pattern, I believe. Alright then. I think it's time to get stuck into it, guys. Let's do some truck racing. First race of the season. Now, let me just check racing life very quickly, just to make sure everything's configured correctly. Yep, that's good. Yep, we're good. We're all registered. We're all good to go. Uh, quick reminder, our sponsor for the next two races is Deutsche Post. Again, thank you, Deutsche Post, for the year's holiday and uh, paying of the leasing fees. So if we look at the sponsor deal that we've got, if we finish on the podium, we get an extra $3,000 in addition to our mandatory 375 for taking part in the race. So let's get on the podium, shall we? Uh, first gear does not exist, so basically put it into second and then take it from there. Thank you. Will do. Five gears in the six speed with no first. All right then. Let's go truck racing. Right, so I don't know what the opponent's skill is going to be like. I don't know how I am compared to the AI. I'm going to run it on 105, do you think? Hats off as well, Tobias, yes. <laughs> Brogman. <laughs> Brogman, I like that accident. Brogman checking in. Uh, keep it on 105 opponent skill. Opponent aggression on high seems to have worked very well. You can put it on max, but they're a little bit too pushy. And uh, it's not great for racing, whereas high is very good for racing. Let's keep it on 105, and if they absolutely smoke me in the qualifying slash practice session, I could uh, turn it down for the race. Anyway, let's get stuck in then. And I want to say a massive thank you to everybody again for tuning in, for being here. Absolutely love your work. Thank you. Really hope you're enjoying the stream and well, let's go and actually do some racing. Let's go and let's go and sit in this truck for the first time and let's see what this is all about. If you do enjoy it, don't forget to leave the stream a like. Say hi in chat because I can see you in the VR headset. And if you really like what you see, maybe subscribe because I do these streams at least once a week, or at least I try and do them once a week. All right, glasses off. Hats off. Headsets on. There's got to be a more graceful way of doing that. Alright, let's do this. Trollbow, I do indeed. I've got prescription inserts for VR. So it's basically like 2020 vision. It's fantastic. Wow, you are so high up in this thing. This is great. The, the modeling in VR. This cockpit is awesome. Right. No first gear. Exit is clear, push now. Alright Dan, we've got eight minutes to set a lap. Cold tires all round. Your brakes are cold, be careful. Oh wow, lots of understeer. <laughs> Let's turn that force feedback down to 90. First corner straight off the track. You really do have to extend the braking zone in these things it seems. Lots of power on exit. We 
We're in sixth gear. Almost at 200k. Through the bomb hole. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yeah, hear those tires squealing out in pain. Big understeer, wow. Maybe some more rearward brake bias to help with that. I feel like I need to get the weight on the nose of the car more under braking. So just kind of get the rear Break nice and early. I'm just to clean off the track here last time. Can build up that speed slowly if I need to. I really don't know what I'm dealing with here. Should have gone down to second for that. So much understeer, wow. I'm um, doing 180k now. 200k now. That's better. Bounce it over the curbs. Did the bomb hole again. That brake bias is definitely helping. Gotta try and use the throttle to rotate it on corner exit. I think I'm starting to imagine this now. Well, imagine how to get the grip out of it. Yeah, Jimmy, imagine 11 more of these side by side on the track. This is going to be insane. Oh, that's miles an hour, Tobias. Not kilometers an hour. Okay, that puts me 2.7 seconds off the next guy. That was outside track limits. Watch the track limits, please, Dan. Oh, big drift. Big four wheel drift there. Let's break. Five minutes remaining. Five Way minutes. too late. Hmm. Definitely requires a very specific style of driving, I'd say. Which I've not really quite got yet. You gotta chuck it in. Get a bit, little bit of a slide going. And then power slide it through the exit. If you uh, don't get the car rotated, it's just going to understeer off the side of the track, it seems. Alright, now I need to break early for this one. I've been missing this corner consistently. Oh! Now at three and a half minutes left in this session. Let's see if we can try and string a good lap together, get some more pace out of it. Your front brakes are getting a bit hot. Well, there's 1.3 seconds, 1.5. Here we go, that's a bit better. Sector one time's okay. 3.6 seconds up. Oh, I don't think that's a button in um, in AMS2, Jimmy. It's definitely a button in Race Room, but I don't think it's a button in Automobilista 2, unfortunately. 
water cooling of the brakes. It would be pretty cool though. Is 0.45 off the pace. Your tire temperatures look good. There we go, 3.7 seconds up. This is going to kind of be near the pace, I think. This is going to be near the top as well. V2 oh, it is! Wow! Three good. Sector 2 is 0.45 off the pace. You've just done it on 29.64. Yeah, I think I'm definitely getting the hang of this now. You just gotta throw it on the anchors. Two minutes to go, two minutes. Drift it round. Like so. Sector one time is good. Look how close the times are! It's like a tenth of a second between first and sixth. Very closely packed qualifying order at the moment. Wow. Sixty-two time is good. And that is actually one point three seconds up. Wow. Every lap is getting better and better in these things. I'm really starting to figure out how to drive them now. Position. Like Ricardo says, I might have to Sector three times quick. turn the difficulty up at this rate from 105 to 110. Who'd, who'd have thought Bulk would be into his truck racing so much? Oh, that's a bit of grass on the outside. And that's an invalidated lap already. Watch the track limits. Oh, that is incredibly fun. Oh my goodness me. It's not quick. The guy behind has just done a 120. But it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it would seem like that way, Mark, wouldn't it? Considering I've got absolutely zero experience in uh, in truck racing and driving in general. I seem to be uh, on the pace immediately. That is as surprising to me as it is to you guys, I'm sure. I know this lap's not going to count. Far away. Still there. Clear left. Uh, that's a very good point you make there, Andre. Look at my brakes. They're overheating massively. So I've got to be careful. I can't drive like that in the race, otherwise I will absolutely destroy those front brakes. I have to rein it in. And think of mechanical sympathy a little bit, but that... is not a bad start to my truck racing championship um, on pole by over a second what do you reckon guys tone it down or tone it up to 110 ai as opposed to 105 like i said it's your call it's your call you call the shots on these ones in fact let me just pop this back up here so you can see it ricardo says 110 Andre says brakes on fire, which I've already pointed out on stream. Even 115. Um, 1.2 seconds is a lot. Okay, Mark P says that as well, so let's continue to race one. That's pole. 10 minutes. Now, you can see the track is dry and we have clear weather. Now, one of the good things about these championships in AMS2 is you can actually quit 
the session and change the difficulty between qualifying and the race uh, to adjust it to suit your needs. Because one of the things about Automobilista 2 is that the AI can be a little bit inconsistent between car and track combos sometimes. So we're going to bump it up from 105 to 110 because qualifying on pole on literally my fourth lap in this car the uh, vehicle, this truck, sorry, it's not a car, it's a truck, by over a second does seem a little bit OP. So I think that AI needs to go up and we'll bump it up to 110. And if I win the race, I'll bump it up to 115 for the next one. How does that sound for a deal? Let's get stuck straight back into it. <laughs> Andre, uh, it's, Bulk Brogan doesn't do things by halves, mate. That's for sure. Just add a trailer onto the back to level it out. Um, now that is... You're in pole. Nine minutes. Oh, hang on a second. I've rejoined... the circuit. And it's gone from clear to heavy cloud. So, does that mean every time I load a session it randomizes it in Automobilist 2? Because if so, that's a bit funky. It doesn't save the weather settings for the race. It's not like, okay, this race has been randomly generated, but we're going to keep that randomly generated setting. Now, we're going to randomly generate it every time you load into the session. That seems a bit funky. Anyway, let's not worry about it. Oh, if I roll the dice again, it may rain, Ricardo, and I don't want to risk that. I'm just going to take it as it is for now. So, I've got eight laps of fuel... Is that going to be enough? What were the lap times here? Was it like 1 minute 30 or something? 1 minute 28, so yeah, that's more than enough fuel. Truck scrubbed. Um, and there's only one compound of tyres available, so let's go with those. Alright then. <laughs> hey, Rob Mitchell, good to see you. We're about to start our first ever truck race. We got 12 of these beasts on track. We're starting on pole somehow. Ten minutes to go. Wish me luck. Ten minutes. Okay, Dan. Here we go. Rolling start here at Snetterton. Heading down towards the first gun of the first time. Don't want to break too late. Side. Don't want to break too early either, though. Hold your line. Clear. Clear all around. Getting swamped around the outside there. React to the guy ahead's brake lights. We got a bump from behind there. Oh, these things are definitely a little bit different in race conditions, that's for sure. Very tricky to uh, see any of the track if you're behind somebody else. Car left. Still there. Clear left. <laughs> Not today, mate. Well, the leader is pulling away slightly. Oh, wow, big understeer. Car right. Still waiting for the tires to come up to temperature, I guess. We're right. Dropping right. spots. Probably not the safest of rejoins here. Full join. Still there. Full join. Clear. Clear to the right. Wow, that AI's made a big difference. Let's, uh... Put that brake bias back to what it was before. We're going from pole down to six. With not much time to do anything about it. On your what? Oh, that was a hell of a dive. I'm sorry, mate. Oh, I'm stuck on him. On your right. Clear right. Come on down. Good stuff. Keep it coming. Oh! That might be outside track limits. Wow! 
It is so different racing these things than driving them around a lap. Jeez. All right, let's get back in the flow. Let's see if we can maybe get back on the podium and get that extra prize money from Deutsche Post. Got to find two spots to make that work. That's better. That's more like it. The leader has just done a 129.42. The car ahead has just done a 128.76. I think my chat may have frozen inside the VR headset. So apologies if I'm missing any of your messages, guys. Okay, down 10 minutes of fuel remaining. Oh, way too late on the brakes there. Not quite sure how I got away with that. Still better than my fastest lap so far, which kind of tells you how well I'm driving so far in this race. But uh, this has definitely been a bit of a rude awakening. Now it's business time. Bolt can put it together on a hot lap. But racing is just a whole other ball game. Wow. The gap behind is now 1.6 seconds. Your front brakes are getting pretty hot. You're locking your front right. All right, on to lap four of the race. Approximately half distance. Let's do something about this. Let's not break too late again. I braked at the two last time. Half distance, fuel levels are fine. Okay, the little slide on the way out. That's good. That's good. Guys ahead are doing 128. My best lap was a 129 last time, so I'm a little bit off the pace here. But it looks like they are starting to fight a little bit up there. Oh, wow. That's overheating brakes for you. Track limits there. Track limits. Andre called it in chat before my brakes are on fire a bit, just didn't want to slow down. These things are a handful. It's amazing how uh, easily an illusion of confidence can be shattered, isn't it? <laughs> the gap to Montero ahead is increasing. It's now 6.3 seconds. Yeah, my, my chat's definitely died in the headset. The last message I've got is from Ricardo saying he's got no idea how that works in Automobilista 2. Unless chat's just gone very quiet, which is entirely possible. But I doubt it. After some of the shenanigans that have been going on so far. I doubt you wouldn't have anything to say about this. So I will catch up on your messages very shortly. Once again, Streamlabs doing wonderful Streamlabs things. That felt nice that time. That didn't. Way wide.
I can just about see them up there. I've got a nice gap ahead. Got a nice gap behind as well, unfortunately. Oh, sorry. A nice, nice gap behind, but a nice gap ahead, unfortunately. Got them the wrong way around. You know, you, you know what I meant. Just want to be a little bit closer, but with only two and a half minutes left to go in this race, it's going to take some kind of incident from the guys ahead. That's your fastest lap. Sector one is 0.9 off the pace. It's going to take something from these guys fighting. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. Maybe second gear would work there. Okay, Dan, we estimate you've got five minutes of fuel remaining. They have a lonely old race this now. Fifth position. Out of, out of 12. It's not last. We still get some solid points for this. But it's definitely a far cry from the podium. Oh, up on two wheels there. There's one for the screenshots. I'm getting a bit closer. Right, it's not going to be enough. And this is going to be the last lap now. That's the fastest lap of the race. That lap was at 128.52. The fastest lap to boot as well. I'll take that. Yeah, second gear was definitely the way to go through that corner. Oh well, it's literally like my 12th lap in these things. We're all learning. You know, books are rookie again. We got another three rounds of the championship to go after this, so let's not give up, let's not surrender. Still got some solid points. Anything can happen. I do feel like I'm starting to get to that point in the race where I understand the vehicle now. I'm definitely closing the gap. They look a lot closer than they've been for a while now. And that's going to be another fastest slap, maybe. Although I did butcher the exit out the final corner slightly. No, no, it's still going to count. It's still going to be another fastest slap. There we go. Bring it back round. P5. P5. Ah, not bad. Not great. Let me just do a refresh on my chat there. So I can actually see what you're saying. Yeah, I've missed I've missed so many messages. Honestly, I've Ah, okay, let's skip that cooldown lap. Let's bring it back, shall we? I've missed so many of our messages, guys. That cuts out just at the start of the race. So I, I've not seen anything that you've been saying for 10 minutes. I, I'm so sorry to anyone who's popped in and said hi. Let me scroll up and see. <laughs> Where is the vote to start from the back, Jimmy? Uh, it looks like we didn't need it after all. Uh, Kevin, yep, if, uh, if rain comes, that's going to be... Quite a lot. Thermalito flashbacks. <laughs> hey, Bambiques. Good to see ya. Yeah, Colin Burton. 105 AI would have been alright. Um, even at 110 AI, I still had the pace on them then. I just stuffed it up too many times at the start of the race. Uh, oh, Das. That, that does make a very, very good point. Uh, Tobias. Uh, this is the track with the most straights. It's only going to get even more twisty from now on, so uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, actually, hey, Boggy, good to see you. Um, oh, no! 
Maybe... Maybe there's options to open up the brakes in the pits on the car setup. That is a very good point. I'll have a look at that. I'll have a think about, have a think about that. Uh, why is everybody Brazilian? Um, I don't know, but I was definitely mowing a lot of the lawn, though, so I, I don't know if that has anything to do with it, Jimmy. Uh, did I open up the brake ducts? No, I, I went into it on default setup, so maybe I should. Maybe I should have done. But basically, we had a pole position... And we threw it all away, and um, at the end of the race we only finished 4.3 seconds off the pace, so what could have been? That might ruin the aero though, Mr. Bishy. <laughs> it's a truck! Uh, it's saying that, it does have aero, it's got a wing on the top of it, so yeah, anyway. Started on pole, finished in 5th position, so that's not great in terms of points, but let's have a look. Let's see how we go. So we got 10 points out of that. Felipe Giafoni got 25 points. Uh, they kind of ran away with it, but then everybody caught up at the end, so that's not bad. I mean, 10 points is better than no points. I'll take that. And obviously, because that's one race so far in the championship, that's what we've got. So, let's go to Racing Life and let's go and submit those results and see how we did. So, competition. Advance. Round 1 of the European Truck Racing Championship, Snetterton 200s, uh, qualified it in fifth and, no, oh, sorry, qualified it in first and finished it in fifth. And you can now actually see there is a new DNF box here because that wasn't there previously. You couldn't actually record a did not finish. Now, some sponsors, when they give you deals, they literally, all they want you to do is finish the race. As long as you don't DNF, you'll be fine. But previously in version 1.2, there wasn't a way to actually say DNF, you had to put a number. So that's that's a very good addition. <laughs> anyway, qualified first, finished fifth. Let's do that. We earned 0 0.3 fame and only $375, just our mandatory. Just our mandatory sponsor money. We have one race left with Deutsche Post. One race left to send it. So if we go to options. You can see our fame is now 17.316. So we're up to 17 fame, 17.31. So we're getting there. We're moving in the right direction. We are moving in the right direction. So let's go back to Automobilist 2. Come on. There we go. Automobilist 2. And let's continue this back to the menu. Now there are no more races to do in June in Racing Life from what I can see. I don't believe there are anyway. So it might be a case of going straight on to round two of the series. So let's have a look. Competition. Um, there's the DTM Classic, but you know we won't gain any fame because we're already at 17 fame and the most you can get out of this championship is 15. So um, yeah, there's there's not much point racing in that series at the moment. Maybe, maybe once we get to the top, we can go round again and just do 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 the series for fun that we want to do. Uh, we haven't got enough fame to... Uh, we're, we're not famous enough basically to take part in Formula 3 yet. You need 20, we've got 17. Same for the WEC that Potato was asking me to do before. Uh, DTM Classic, Formula Trainer, gym, uh, same again. Copa Chevrolet Montana. I don't think I've seen this so far. Now what is this? This is a series that needs 10 fame, can get you 25 popularity. And there's $40,000 of prize money on the line. You race at Watkins Glen, Londrina, Yaokocha, and Curitiba. Um, I think we're going to stick with our trucks for now. We don't stretch ourselves too thin because next month... Well, I mean, there's nothing else to race in at the moment, so let's advance. We've got no more registered races, so let's advance. We're now going to be in July. There we go. We're in July. We've got $60,000 well, $60, in the bank. We've got one race left with our sponsor. If we go to the competition page, you can see we've got rounds two and three of the Truck Racing Championship. We also have the European Formula V and the World Formula V Championships. Now, 
Should we register? Should we register? Oh, sorry, it's not on Racing Lab, it's on Automobilist 2. Sorry, Kevin. Sorry, mate. I've had it on the wrong screen. My bad, I've been looking at Automobilist it's not Racing Lab. So now, we progressed from June to July. We're now racing in July. So you can see we've got round two and round three of the European Truck Racing Championship. Uh, we also have the European and the, the World Formula V Championships. Should we register for both? $20,000 on the line for this. And $50,000 on the line for that. That can get us popularity of up to 25. The World Championship can get us popularity of up to 40. So that could be really good. That could be really quite good, actually. What do you guys think? I mean, we're going to go and do these two truck races first. Because we're in the truck. We're used to the truck. We're going to continue the championship. We're going to do rounds two and three. We're going to get as much value for money out of this mustache as possible. And this is actually... It's coming off a bit. It's, it's not as sticky as the other ones. Hopefully that stays on a bit better. So um, I'll let you guys think about it. I'll let you guys think if we should register for both the European and the World Championships. Uh, there is a limit in Automobilist 2 that we have four championships at the same time. That is something I did not know. I didn't know you can have. I didn't know you couldn't have more than four championships in AMS2. Okay. Right. Because next month the. Wow! Look at that. Look at this. Okay. Next month in August the FIA Super Truck Championship begins. If we can get the hang of the Super Truck Championship, there's one hundred and forty thousand dollars on the line. That is huge prize money. And computation popularity of 40 as well. Wow! Okay, these trucks could be quite a profitable endeavor. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So much to think about. Um, I don't... We're not going to have enough fame. So we're on 17 now. And we'd have to basically win these championships to get up to 30. Maybe? Maybe we could do a GT3 series? We could register for... ADAC GT Masters or IMSA GT3, I don't know, it's, uh, I don't know, we'll have to see how we go, but um, let's do some truck racing and then let's think about whether we want to register for both or just the World Formula V Championships. Mr. Bishy Cordia, do I get a trophy for the Formula V World Championship? Why yes I do. Formula V World Championship has its place in the trophy cabinet, so I definitely want to do the World Championship, whether I should do the Euros as well, we'll see. But first things first, it's now a new month, it's July. We've got round two and round three of the European Truck Racing Championship. We've got Nürburgring Sprint and Donington National. Now, let's switch it back to Automobilist 2 and give me your thoughts. Should we keep it on 110 AI? Or should we bump it back down to 105? What What's your thoughts? Should we keep it on 110? Keep it interesting? Let's make it a challenge? Or do you think 110 was a bit... bit too much? Could do 108. Go in the middle. Knock it down a couple. What do you think? Oh, that's a great suggestion, Tobias. 105 and start from the back. Or 110 and qualify as normal. Do quality at 110, then make a judgment call from Kevin and Mr. Bish says 110. Uh, let's keep it 110. Okay, well, Nurburgring Sprint. So many herpins. This is this is not going to go well in the truck. Sure, surely not. Surely not. We're doing it though. 110 percent AI in the truck at a very twisty Nurburgring. We'll see. We'll see, Colin. We'll make a judgment call after quali. We were on pole by over a second on 105, though, in the last round at Snetterton, so let's see how this goes. But I will say, these trucks are an absolute blast to drive. You have to be so careful with them. It's uh, overcast, but it is dry, so let's get out on track and let's, uh, let's go and see what this circuit's all about. 
Like I am very familiar with the Nurburgring. I've raced to heaps across different sims for many, many years. However, in one of these things, it's a different matter. They're all clear. Stay behind the line. Left side. We've got nine minutes to settle up. He's still there. Clear left. Your brakes are cold. We need to get some heat into them. Your tires are cold. Watch out. Right side. Clear to the right. Apparently I got a uh, penalty for speeding in the pits there. I thought I had the limiter on. Oh well. That makes things a bit more interesting than they need to be. Still there. Whoa. Still there. Hold your line. Hold now I will line. say this Vulcan is very good on the straights in acceleration. It's very good at pulling away from the corners. It's not so good in the corners themselves. You just gotta wait for that turbo to kick in. So you can slide it round. Is it the tight chicane? I think it's the tight chicane, yep. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe a little bit of clutch kick to help bring that revs up, or bring those revs up and kick the turbo into life. This doesn't feel too bad so far. Although this first corner is definitely gonna be the slowest on the circuit. Definitely second gear for this. Break around about the 200 marker. Down to second, throw it in. Big drift though on the rear. Hands on the wheel, all over the place. It is so much fun. It's about that boost. All about that boost, guys. Once you hear that turbo start to fire up, it just rotates. I think I'm starting to make sense of this now. Every lap is becoming more and more familiar. You just gotta get on that power early. <laughs> Boggy, the turbo has its own engine. Kind of feels that way. The leader's just done it. 152.09. Bit of two wheeler curb action there, which, when you consider the weight of these vehicles, is quite impressive. Sergeant Yoda, hello! Oh, that's a bit off the pace there. The guy behind has just done a 156.93. That's five seconds off the pace, wow. Left. 
Yeah, the AI at 110 is definitely uh, pretty speedy here. I mean, I'm a little bit up on this lap so far, but that's still to be five seconds off the pace is, wow, well, big nice. understeer. And I'm very surprised that didn't invalidate the lap as well. Clear to the left. On your left. Clear left. Give them some space on the outside. They decide to back out of it. Give me the lap. I'm only a tenth and a half up. I don't think I can go that much faster around here. Sector 2 is 1.4 off the pace. Oh, Sergeant Yoda, VR is just the only way to go, mate. It's just such an immersive sim racing experience. Oh, well, that's seven tenths up. That's a bit better. But that's still a ways off the pace. Sector 1 is 2.0 off the pace. Sector 2 is 1.4 seconds off the pace. Sector 3 is 0.38 off the pace. Your front brakes are pretty hot now. Way too late into the herp in there. You're clear. Tobias, you think I'm overdriving the corner entries? I'm not sure how to drive them less, to be honest with you. I mean, it's like, if I slow down more, I'm going to get mugged. And I can't turn less, because it's just not going to turn less, it's just not rotating. you got to focus on the entry so much. Your tire temperatures are okay. It's incredibly difficult. It's such a different concept as well. And they rotate on the throttle. It's kind of like a caterum. Sector 2 is 0.7 off the pace. Oh, I'll break myself again then. Just two minutes left. That is a lot of fun though. That is a lot of fun. You've used half your fuel. One minute 47 less than the session. This is going to be my last, uh, my last lap. Don't outbreak myself last. here. Sector three is a second off the pace. I'm actually going to go quiet for this one. I really need to concentrate now. This is taking a lot more brain power than I'm expecting. These are not easy things to drive. Off the pace. AI has definitely got a Huge advantage on me here. I mean, that's six tenths up, seven tenths up. But I'm still going to be a second off the next guy. Sector two is 0.9 off the pace. Yeah, it's this. I'm getting faster, but it's just not enough. There we go. That's my best lap of the session. That's going to be a one minute fifty-three point five. 
Oh dear. Oh dear indeed, look at that. 1 minute 50.9 is the poll time. Uh, the next time was 152.7. Yeah, I'm like 9 tenths off the next guy at the road. Side. It's... Ooh. Keep it steady. This, it's tricky. <laughs> it's very tricky. I think I'm Still definitely going to have to knock it back down Still to 105 again. That, that, that's a bit too much for me. That's a bit too much for me. So, lower the AI again. Ten minutes. You'll need to get on with this. Which is strange, because um, I put it on pole by a second at Snetterton. Alright, so remember this, guys. Remember this. Medium cloud, dry trek. Let's exit. Put that AI down and see if I've still got the same weather settings. So we got 105. Yeah, the <laughs> that is very true, Andre. My grid penalty was rendered absolutely useless because I qualified at the back anyway. So we're now at 100 and 105 AI instead. And I'm going to refresh my chat before I go into this race to give myself a fighting chance of seeing your messages. So that's that. But... I want to thank you very much for tuning in, for being here. Um, B12, nine minutes. You've not got much time to sort this out. Okay, so it's overcast and dry. So it definitely changes the conditions if you leave the session and join again. Uh, Sergeant Yoda, have they improved Automobilista 2 since it came out? Um, uh, how, many, how many extra words can I put before yes to emphasize the fact that I'm saying yes. <laughs> like, absolutely, most definitely, 100%, yes, it has improved so much. It's still got a hell of a long way to go, but it is uh, so much better than on release. They have not stopped. Risa Studios have done a fantastic job of uh, absolutely just, just not... never sleeping, basically. Yeah, it's no, it's no longer... A drift simulator, an oversteer simulator. Some of the cars do have feeling. It still is a little bit over rotatey for most cars in my liking, but it's nowhere near as bad as it used to be, mate. It's it's massively improved. To the point where I'm now doing a full series. You wouldn't see me doing this two years ago. Anyway, starting from the back. <laughs> Bulk Brogan's truck racing championship continues. We got a fifth place last time. Let's see if we can do any better than that. So, rolling start, 10 minutes, here we go. 10 minutes, you'll need to get on with this. Get ready, time to focus. Ghosted through him on the formation lap there. Go, nail it. And we're green. Now react to the brake lights, people are braking here. On your left. Clear on the left. One side. Still there. Clear to the left. Nah, I got interlocked with that car then. We made contact. And we both kind of just bogged down and didn't go anywhere. But I've made a spot up to 11th and I was full on the anchors and full lock and it just wasn't rotating so I know I ran in wide but there wasn't much I could do there now this is an opp opportunistic move I'm going to take it though up to 10th there we go there we go Moving in the right direction. Oh, that's wide. Tobias reckons I'm up shifting too early. Okay, let's make a conscious effort to use more revs then. Side. Still there. 
Clear on the left. Down the inside into the final corner. And now up to ninth. We're looking like we're going to make a move into the first turn again. B9. No, that guy was coming across to defend. Right side. Clear right. Right side. Clear right. Just went wide and left that door wide open. Back down to 10th. At least we're getting a point now. Moving in the right direction, that's what we want, right? Although we're dropping back a bit here, AI's pulled a bit of a run on me. Maintain that drift. Get the drive out. Yeah, that is one of my biggest complaints about Automobilista 2, is that AI is still very inconsistent from car to car and track to track, to be honest. Bit of a slide on exit. Bit of a slide on entry. Get the drive out. <laughs> Kevin. Tenth position. Right side. Keep it steady. Clear right. That was that. Clear right. Far right. Clear to the right. It almost worked around the outside there, guys. It almost worked until it didn't. Almost halfway through the race already, wow! This one's flying by. Not really making the progress I wanted to be making. Almost pushing this guy out of the corner. On your left. Still there. Hold your line. He's still there. Clear left. Nice move, mate. Running wide, there we go. I was a bit aggressive, but I've got to get the elbows out here. Okay, Dan, come on, stay focused. Up to ninth. There's eight, seventh, and six up ahead of me on the road as well. The half distance. Fuel looks okay. Oh, it could be promising if we can get some clean laps in. <laughs> yeah, those poor tyres indeed. Oh, that, that, that didn't take long. Right back up to 8th position now. We got a great run out of the final corner here. Left side. Still there. Still there. Clear left. That last lap was at 153.70. That's your best lap in this session. We actually made an overtake into turn one and it's stuck. Happy days. Woo! Oh, missed that apex by a mile. Seventh and sixth up ahead. Very realistically doable, I reckon. Especially with the way they're fighting here. You 
notice that drift. Get the exit. Two minutes, 50 seconds to go in the race. You've got half your fuel left. The gap behind is now 0.4 seconds. Only 1.5 seconds behind. Sixth place. I reckon that's my goal for the end of the race now. If I can bag a six. Just get some more solid points. That lap was a 153.68. Good lap. That's your quickest so far. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. Okay, so we got this lap and one more, I reckon. This is so st stressful. I'm really not commentating that much. I'm very conscious of the fact that I'm not saying that much. Because it's just a completely new concept. The way you have to drive these things is so different. Requires so much planning. You can't just throw it into a corner and then manage it like you can with, say, a downforce car. You have to be incredibly premeditated with your driving in these things. You have to know exactly what you want to do 10 steps before you get there. You have to start the weight transfer way before you get to the apex. You have to think about when you're going to put the throttle down before you've even started braking. It's it's so involved mentally. And you think, oh, they're just trucks, you know, how hard can it be? It's, it's incredibly hard. Looks like we're going to have a last lap battle on our hands for 6th place here. Brakes are hot. We got the run on Lewis for 7th. Car left. Hold your line. Still there. Hold your line. There we go, got the run, squeezed him out wide to the outside. Nicely done. So this is it, last lap coming up now. Last lap. Last lap was at 153.76. On your left. Clear left. That wasn't an intentional send. That Mercedes just wasn't as good on the brakes as I was. Got a good drive here. Car right, clear right. Yeah, the Merc's definitely not as good on the brakes. It's nothing. The gap in front has increased. It's now about 0.8. If I can get a good run through this corner, I might be able to nail him into the chicane. Or if I just play patient and get him after the chicane. Oh, ho, ho. give him a little bump. Very little fuel left. On your left. Clear left. Slowing fast out didn't work. It's gonna have to be a send. Far left. Clear to the left. Left side. Oh, it's close! Got him by a tenth, two tenths. Yes, just made it. Sixth place, I'll take that. Sixth place. I mean, I guess I don't have an option. Well done. I don't have an option to take it. That's the position I got. I have to take it. <laughs> what a race at the end then. Didn't quite get the run I was hoping out of the chicane, to be honest with you. I was hoping for a bit more of an over-under, slow and fast out style of thing, but 
You just had to get heavy on the brakes and send it up the inside in the final corner. Thankfully, uh, they were nice and compliant with me. Gave me enough racing room. Whoa, this is sweaty work. My goodness me. Wow, these trucks are great for oval racing. I would have never thought of taking these trucks on an oval lane, Ed. That is a great idea. Oh, wow. So, qualified in 12... Uh, yeah, qualified in 12th. And um, finished in 6th. I'm not quite sure what Bulk's doing to the gear stick there, but that is incredibly inappropriate for this stream. Sounds like the truck's enjoying it, though. Who am I to say? Alright then. So... Yeah, 6th position. Which gives me 8 points. Now, I don't know how the championship was. I don't know who was on what points. I can't remember. I think Felipe was on top points. Uh, let's have a look then. Yeah, Felipe's extended his points even more. Hey, that's alright, Sergeant Yoda. Enjoy, enjoy your rest, mate. Um, another 16 hour day, jeez. Well, I mean, it's Friday, so I suppose it's the end of the week. What are you doing to this truck bulk? Seriously? That's... I've got, to, I've got to click off that screen, whatever that sound is. <laughs> You're not meant to do that to a Vulcan, mate. That's... Yeah. Anyway, so there's the points. We're, we're still in sixth and... No, we were in fifth in the standings last time. We actually dropped the spot. Oh, I, I, I must have offended you, uh, Sergeant Yoda. I'm so sorry um, to treat to treat your beloved vehicle in this disrespectful manner. Um, if it was on the road, I would drive it a lot more sensibly, but this is racing. You have to just throw it around and hope it sticks. Uh, it's Friday tomorrow, Charles, okay? Um, yeah, it's Friday tomorrow. It's Thursday here in Brisbane as well. 9.41pm on a Thursday evening here in Brisbane, Australia, but it's Friday tomorrow. <laughs> okay, well, that is our points. So we're Six in the standings. I, ah, let's check racing life. And let's see what sixth would get us in terms of prize money. Yeah, uh, Brisbane, mate. Based in Brizzy. English accent. Moved over here about seven, six, seven years ago now. Anyway, so let's have a look. So if we finish sixth, we get $53,144, which ain't bad, but it's not quite the same as 90,000. Oh, South Tassie. Beautiful part of the world, mate. Beautiful part of the world. Been to Tassie a couple of times now. Love it. Very jealous. <laughs> um, okay, well... Let's have a look at the points. We're a long way back in the points. We're going to have to have some kind of miracle result to, to, to be able to to get some kind of championship win out of this. Uh, I mean, we could probably jump up to second. Felipe's running away with it, I'd say. But uh, he's got 43 points. He's been on the podium twice. But we got Gabriel, Clodoaldo, Paolo, Pedro, and then myself. So it's... You too, Yoda. Look after yourself, mate. Um, and Tobias makes a very good point. Because we didn't finish on the podium in that race as well. We uh, We didn't get our bonus money. So if we have a look here, let's enter our results then. So we go back to the competition page. Let's uh, pop some music on in the background while we do that. Where are we? Boom. There we go. Okay, so let's go to advance. So stage two of four of the European Truck Racing Championship. Qualified it in 12th and finished in 6th. So, I mean, we gained points. And I think I'm going to leave the AI at 105 from now on that. I mean, if we qualified better, we may have had a better race. Would have been more in the mix, I suppose. I think any lower than 105 is just not... You know, you got to have a challenge every now and then, right? So let's do that. Qualified 12th, finished in 6th. And we earned 0.26 fame. And again, 
$375 in sponsor money, which, as you pointed out very rightly, Sean, we now have no sponsor. Which means it's time to pick a new sponsor before we go into round three of the truck racing series, which is going to be at Donington National. That could be that could be quite nice, actually, because there's a few decent straights there. So let's go to our finances. Let's have a look at our sponsors. Right then, we've got some new offers. Let's see. Let's have a look at these sponsors. <laughs> uh, no, no, Dad. No, Dad. There's uh, no Ann Summers available, unfortunately. Although I'm sure the deal they'd give me would be pants anyway. Hey. So, we can have Dunlop, Arrow, and Hankook. Now, I believe this is fixed in 1.3. If I exit this menu, Previously in version 1.2, if I click on sponsors again, it would generate new sponsor names and I could basically just keep on going out and back into the menu until I found a name of a sponsor I would like. The deals would be the same, but the names would change. So now, in version 1.3, that is fixed. So whatever sponsor offers you get in that month, it will stay the same regardless. Which is... Uh, which is actually quite nice, because then you can make an informed decision. So let's have a look at the options we've got, and I'm going to need your help with this. So option one, or offer one, we could be sponsored by Dunlop. Now, they give us $2,500 per race, regardless. Oh, sorry, they give us $2,500 literally just right now as like a, a handshake. And then I get $1,500 per race... As long as I don't DNF, which is <laughs> Colin, <laughs> uh, which is basically, you know, guaranteed money in the bank. And if I don't DNF, I get an extra $750. So basically, you know, I'm going to be earning $2,250 per race. Times that by five. So 2250 times five. That's $11,000. $11,250. Plus my signing bonus of 2,500. That is a safe $13,750, basically. Now, if I sign up with Hankook, they give me $15,000 literally just to sign that deal. So immediately, if I... Uh, that's per race, Jimmy. So if I, if I get... Uh, that, that bonus is per race. So if I don't DNF in a race with Dunlop, I get $750, basically. Now... All up, if I basically do five races with Dunlop and don't DNF, I get $13,750. However, with Hankook, they pay me $15,000 literally just to sign. So already that's a better deal. Now let's have a look at RL. So that's for seven races. And if I get a top 10, I get $18,750. So let's have a look. So I've got $825 plus 1,875 is 2,700 times that by 10 oh no sorry times that by 7 gives me $18,950 plus my sign on fee so theoretically I could earn $26,400 with Aral that's quite lucrative that's easy money for 7 races whereas Hankook I could earn, if I can finish in the top three, which based on this truck series so far isn't looking likely, <laughs> then I get $375 per race times up by 10, that's $3,750. So guaranteed money, Hankook is $18,750 in the bank, plus $30,000 if I can finish it. So I could earn up to forty eight dollars so Dunlop is not even worth thinking about because Hankook is a case of, well, you get more money just by signing with them. So it's between Aral and Hankook. So Aral is the safe bet because top 10s are quite likely. That's that's going to be a very consistent earner, I would say, Aral. It's unlikely I'd finish out of the top 10 in most races. But Jimmy makes a good point. I only have to finish in the top three four times to earn more money on on Hankook. So Hankook is riskier 
because I don't get my bonus pay if I don't get in the top three. And the per race payment is measly. It's only $375. So I'm going to put another poll in chat. I'm going to let you guys decide. So Dunlop's out of the question, to be honest with you. We're not going to go with Dunlop because it doesn't make sense. Uh, it's, there's, there's, it's, you know, it's easy, safe money, but uh, nah, nah, it's, it's not, not worth it. So are we going to go with Aral or are we going to go with Hankook? You decide, guys, because you picked my truck. Well, you picked the series I was racing in, you picked the trucks, and now you're also going to pick my sponsor as well. So let's go with the vote. There's a vote in chat. Get your votes in. Uh, the next race, by the way, Mr. Bishy, is going to be round three of the truck racing series, which is uh, going to be at Donington National. However, we then move on to Formula V, World Formula V Championship, and that could be quite lucrative because I'm quite handy in a Formula V. <laughs> Bam Beaks! Bam Beaks. Uh, Dunlop gives you free tennis balls though. Yeah, they don't say that, do they? They don't They don't give you the perks. You get free shoes, you get free tennis balls, you get all this memorabilia with Dunlop that you don't get with Errol or Hankook, to be honest with you. So, uh, come on Ricardo, Where, where's my Dunlop merch? <laughs> I've got my Castrol merch from Sticky, thank you again by the way. Oh, now this is quite a tight vote so far. We've got 14 votes. Don't forget to get your votes in in chat, by the way. There should be a new pop-up box on the stream itself, not the Streamlabs thing that you can see on the corner of the screen here, and the actual chat itself. It's 57% uh, in favor of Aral, 43% in favor of Hankook, with 14 votes. Um, I will say that I am a lot more likely to get top threes in Formula V than I am in the Formula Truck, and there's going to be a lot more Formula V races coming up than Truck races. Especially if I sign up for the uh, the Euro Series. And uh, Vushal makes a good point as well. Uh, hello. Hello, Vushal. Good to see you, by the way. Vushal makes a very good point. All my sponsors so far have been German. I've been sponsored by Aldi, been sponsored by Deutsche Post, and Hankook is also German. I believe? Or is Aral German? I think are they both German? I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sure which one you're referring to, there, Vushal. So it's sixty forty in the vote in favour of Aral. Uh, Hankook is Japanese. Ah, okay. Fair enough. It's not a very Japanese-sounding name, is it? Really. Hmm. Dunlop is Gem Dunlop is German. I thought they were based in Birmingham. Uh, how's my registration cash flow looking? I'll show you. Uh, I've currently got $61,370. So uh, the sign up fees for the Formula V World Championship is $4,000. And Formula V sign up European series is $1,600. So, I mean, I can easily cover the fees. And I've already got a Formula V parked in the garage waiting to go. So, I don't know. I don't know. It's it's a tricky one. Hankook could definitely be quite profitable in the Formula V series, but RL is a safe bet. I get less money overall, but it's a safe bet. Hmm. All right, well, I'm going to give this another minute or so. We're now up to 16 votes. And it is very, very finely balanced in the favor of Aral at the moment. How's your boo GT? Hello. Good to see ya. Hope you're keeping alright. Looking after yourself. <laughs> Jimmy the Bird. Birmingham, Germany. That's true. Oh, it's a bit of a landslide now. We're up to 19 votes and Aral is on 63. can't tell if you're being serious or not, Colin, but that does sound like something I would believe in. John Miller, good to see you. 
Right, we got 20 votes in. It looks like it's going to be Aral, to be honest with you. It's 65% in favor of Aral. It's a seven race contract. And um, I get $7,500 up front. I get $825 per race. And I get $1,875 if I finish in the top 10. So that, for the truck series, of which we have one more race today, is a good... I'll give you that. It's a good decision. But Hankook... Hankook does make more sense. Nia, hey, good to see ya. Mm, it's, I've got to respect the vote. I've got to respect the vote. I'm going to end the poll. With 20 votes in, it is 65% in favor of... 65% uh, uh, in favor of Arrow. So let's end that poll. And let's sign with Arrow. I've got to respect the vote. And that's kind of nearly two-thirds of you voted for Arrow. So I can't, I can't ignore that. Right, we're now signed with Arrow. The German sponsorship streak continues. So let me just refresh. Yep, that's loaded. So $825 per race. $1,875 if I finish in the top 10. And we have one truck race to go this month. We've got round three of four, which is going to be Donington National. And then, because, I mean, I, I could go straight ahead to round four, which is going to be the season finale at uh, Alton Park Fosters. However, if you look at this month, we've got, you know, round three of four of the truck series here. But then we've got the Formula V World Championship to register for as well. So that actually starts this month. And if we have a look at the schedule, we've got one race in Adelaide. And we also potentially have a race at Hockenheim short A. So, I mean, we could register for the European Championship and the World Championship at the same point. And we just got Formula V races left, right, and center. Uh, family's good, by the way. Ajibu GT. Um, little baby girl was eight months old the other day, actually, and she's awesome. She's doing great. She's crawling all over the place. We can't keep her still. She's just babbling all the time. She's not really saying words yet, but she's making a hell of a lot of noise. She's eating solid food. She can sit up and look around. And the best part is, whenever I walk in the room, she gives me the biggest smile and just starts laughing at me. Not because she's happy to see me, but because she thinks I'm an idiot. But I'll take it either way. My little kids, you know, give me a big smile and laughing at me. It's the best feeling in the world. It really is. <laughs> anyway, before I make you all turn to mush in chat let's progress with our automobilista 2 championship shall we we've got round three of four so we're going to be progressing to donington national <laughs> what what are you what are you wrong bushel what's wrong what's wrong Okay, Donington National, should we keep it at 105? I reckon we should probably keep it at 105. Let's have some consistency. So just to refresh on the on the points, we're on 18. Gabrielle in second is on 28. So I reckon our target should be Gabrielle. Let's just finish as high as we can and just score points. That's the only way to do it, really. So let's get straight into Donington. And hopefully we've got decent weather because I... Uh, I, I can't imagine driving one of these trucks in the wet. <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, let's pause that music. And we've got fog. It's a foggy Donington, but it's dry. With a track temp of 31. So let's get stuck straight into practice. Um, yeah. Alright, actually, I'll give a chat a refresh. Because that seems to have frozen again on me there. Yeah, chat's good again in the headset now. Let's get this car started. Well, this vehicle started. Let's make sure the pit limit is on this time. Pop it into second. And let's go racing at Donington. In the fog. Your exit looks clear. Stay behind the line. All right, Dan. We've got nine minutes to do the business. Your 
brakes are cold, let's get some heat. We've got cold tyres, we need to get some heat into them. Oh, thanks for the history lesson, Colin. Oh, Korea. Into the old herpin. Oh, ho, 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 ho. we have to break a lot earlier than that. A foggy Donny. True Vushel. This is. What you see on the screen right now is what it looks like in Donny's, Donny McGarry's mind after he's been on the Guinness. This is what he sees when he opens his eyes in the morning after a night on the Terps. And this is the right left chicane because we're doing national. I'm going to break here because I feel like we really got to break early in these things. Nice change of direction. Mount the curb up into fourth, use the slide on the way out. I've got a feeling this truck's going to be quite quick here because there's not that many tight and twisty bits. They're kind of high speed. The fog is definitely making it a bit more difficult than usual to spot the braking markers. Wow, Karina curves in a truck. They actually do this in real life, you know, by the way. Oh, okay, well I guess I can't cut the corner like that. Uh, that's true, Kevin M. Originally, Bulk Brogan is from a place called Parks, P-A-R-K-E-S, in New South Wales. You can look it up on Wikipedia, actually. I think he, I think there's an official entry for him. The leader's just done it, 127, seven. However, due to a run-in with the local council, a disagreement about the, uh, I believe it was the radio telescope dish, some unspecified incident, regarding illegal broadcasting. Um, he had to flee Australia, landed on his feet in South America with the one aim of uh, rebuilding his racing career. Obviously, with me cutting the chicane, like that in the final corner I've actually invalidated both the last lap and this lap as well so with six minutes left to go in the session I don't actually have a time on the board so don't cut the old herpin so much this time round get on the power get the slide out that's it see if we can take some more bollards out for good measure Yeah, it actually doesn't feel too bad around here, to be honest. Because of the long, sweeping nature of most of these corner exits, it kind of really lends itself to that on-power, drifty, slidey, exity business. Oh, don't, 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 don't! We're seeing lots of front right locking. That's five minutes to go. Five there we go, that's better. I thought it was going to invalidate the lap. Alright then, let's concentrate. Quiet lap time. Let's listen to the meatiness of this engine. Your front brakes are getting pretty hot. Attempts are good. Sector one is 0.6 off the pace.
your sector two time is quick. Looking good. You're in pole. Yes, yeah. there we go. Pole position. Zero, zero. And that's gravel into turn one. Oh, bugger. That is You've just got out of track limits. a very suspicious rumor that you've heard there, Brody, about refusing to shave a mustache. Um, now, obviously, there's no smoke without fire. Okay, Dan, you've got half your fuel left. And that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to leave it at that. You guys decide. Now, obviously, this lap's not going to count because I'm already four seconds off. Um, I'm not sure, Sean. There wasn't any storm this afternoon before I signed on for the stream. Uh, there may have been a storm in the background, but if it was, it's only a little one because I've not heard any thunder over the, over the over the headphones, to be honest. Last night was just epic, though. Hey, Jimmy, did you get much sleep last night? Jimmy the Bear? With all the thunder and lightning going on? That's like one of the biggest storms I've ever seen in my life, man. It's crazy. Zero, .32 off the face. Oh, and just for those in chat wondering why I asked Jimmy the Bear specifically about that, because um, I discovered the other week that Jimmy the Bear is based quite close to me in real life. You're two tenths off the pace in sector three. Definitely within beer drinking distance, so I can imagine that's going to be a thing one day. You're looking your right front going into red gate. There we go, half a second up on this lap. You can have one more lap after this, I think. But I think my driving style... Sector two time is okay. ...is not suited to tight, twisty corners. So obviously the Nürburgring that we just raced at was an absolute shocker. Look at that, 25-1. Sector three time's okay. Oh, way too wide into turn one again. I'm consistently breaking too late for turn one. I need to fix that. Yeah, Kevin, it, it's foggy and overcast and it's pretty cold. It looks like there may be a little bit of weather inbound for the race, but you just don't know. Oh, shifted into sixth instead of fourth there. Off the pace. On your right. Clear to the right. That guy's on an outlap, which seems like a very strange thing to do with 10 seconds left in the session. Oh, and I'm, I've butchered that corner as well. I'm, I'm going to call it quits there. I'm going to return to the pit box. That's the end of the session. Pole position. Well done, mate. Let's have a look at those qualifying results, shall we? And, um, yeah, I, this, this moustache is uh, proving quite troublesome today. I think I think because I've got a bit of a... A real moustache going on underneath it. It's not sticking quite as well to my skin as it should be doing. Because it's sticking to the hairs on my skin, not the actual skin itself. Uh, not, not that this is a fake moustache. Just, just putting that out there, just clarifying that. Just saying, just saying guys. <clears throat> right, I'm not going to go and increase the AI to 110. Because at Snetterton I qualified on pole by a very similar margin. Put the AI up to 110, and then absolutely butchered it in the race and finished fifth. So, I, <laughs> Mr. Bishy, I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm not going to fall foul to that again. So let's continue to race one. Ten minutes.
that's that's pole. Oh, we got heavy cloud, but it is a dry track. Now it's rolling start uh, from pole position. Felipe is the guy that I need to be keeping an eye on in terms of points at the head of the championship, but behind that is Gabriel. So, oh, this could be interesting for points. This could be very interesting for points. Ten minutes. I mean, the only thing I can do is just finish as high up the order as possible and just hope to get up the championship standings as much as I can before the final round, which is the next round at Alton Park. Yeah, this is round three or four of the truck championship. It's so much fun. These things are an absolute hoot to drive. If you're enjoying it, don't forget to leave the stream a like, say hi in chat, and um, subscribe to see where this is going to go. Because I've only got a couple of races left in me today. Maybe I've got this race and maybe a couple of Formula V races. And then I'll probably be signing off. Five races, I reckon, is a good amount of races for stream. So this is race number three. A couple of Formula Vs after this. But if you want to see what happens next time out, make sure you subscribe. And press the notification bell. So you don't miss a thing. Anyway, uh, no wet tyres, Kevin. It's just truck tyres, and that's it. I believe truck scrubbed. Yeah, just truck scrubbed. That's it. Actually, brake bias. Need to pop that back a little bit. And while I'm here, brake ducts. Front ducts. Yay, there we go. Okay. Let's increase the brake ducts opening a bit because they're overheating a bit. That should help in the race. Boom, okay. I'm glad I remembered that then. Right, let, let's let's do this, guys. Ten minutes starting in pole, rolling start. Here we go. Okay, Dan, be ready. Watch for the lights. Ten minutes. Let's go. And we're off. Decent run out the final corner. We're still in the lead. Let's not throw it away. I'm going to pause it very quickly because I realized that I didn't refresh my chat in the headset and I don't want it to die in the middle. And I have already... I already I've already missed a few messages, so that was a good choice. Alright, carry on. Carry on. Sorry about that. Well, at least it's not foggy now. I can actually see where we're going. Although foggy. Good start, mate. It's probably raced here several times. Oh, did something happen? Did something happen to Felipe, baby? Has something just happened to the championship leader behind me? Did he have a bin or something? Because he's no longer in second place. This is huge for the championship. Come on, Dan, concentrate. You're locking your front right. Oh, this is huge for the championship. That's the championship leader who spun up behind me. Oh, it's on. With a 2.3 second lead. Let's just bring it home nice and safe. Let's maintain this. This might be a boring race, but this could be huge for the championship. Seen right front locking into Redgate. Wait, was that... Was that caused by the pause, Bambiques? Was me pausing the game to reset chat inside the VR headset? Did that cause him to spin? That dead set, is that what happened? If so... I might have to restart the race, because that does seem a little bit unfair. I didn't... As an unintentional hack, if it was. Because I'd know... <laughs> if, I, if I caused that by pausing and re-pausing the game, could someone go back and check the footage? that seems a bit cheaty if that's what happened 
<laughs> oh, okay, Bambique, sorry. <laughs> Woo, scared me for a moment then. I want to get these results legit, you know? Not by exploiting the weird quirks of Automobilista 2, of which I'm sure there are many. Oh, a bit wide on the exit there. You think you might have gone outside of track limits there? <laughs> Vushal, probably on Hankook tyres. Safe to assume. Your front brakes are getting a bit hot. Oh, well, there's me saying that I'm never going to finish in the top three in a truck race. Here I am leading at Donny. And it looks like the guys behind are fighting heaps, which is probably what's slowing them down because I'm not exactly driving that well here. I'm like all over the place here. Yeah, it's not over yet. We're not even at half distance. Just let's remain realistic. Bulk. But these are the kind of races, if you can capitalize on them, that make and break championships. You're pulling away from the guy behind. The gap's now 6.0 seconds. Here we go, that's another lap down, almost half distance now. Lap time was 125.86. Your times are good in all three sectors. Really starting to get the hang of this. A lot of the skill in truck racing is knowing your braking points. Because if you get the braking right, you can just nail the apex just right. Not like that. <laughs> but if you can get it right, it sets you up so nicely. Just five minutes left. Hold your nerve. Wait for the rest of the uh, for the rest of the corner. What? What? Have I accidentally underfueled it? I didn't check the fuel before I got in the car. And it's been more than enough for the two races I've done so far, but apparently it's saying it's going to be quite, going to be quite tight on fuel. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of fuel saving. How exactly does one fuel save in a truck? Or is that just Spotter playing games with me? The quickest at the moment. Your last lap time was at 125.90. Is that just Jim winding me up, trying to give me some panic in a race, add some drama where it doesn't need it? Welton! Welton Goncalves, or Gonsalves. Thank you for the subscribe, very much appreciated. I hope you're enjoying what you see. You're now in the lead. I'm certainly enjoying doing it. <laughs> Let's short shift just to be safe. Oh, I've used half my fuel and there's three minutes to go in the race and it's a ten minute race. I'm fine. I don't know why Spotter said that. I don't know why he said I was short on fuel. He's playing games on me. Wow, this is a huge race. Felipe's out the action, Gabriel's only in third. Your lap time was at 125.88. This could swing the points right round. Couple of laps to go as well, I reckon. 
We estimate you've got five minutes of fuel remaining. Oh, plenty. The gap behind is now 9.5 seconds. Plenty of fuel. I don't know what we're about. For the first time in that race, I actually get the old hairpin right. And then immediately find three quarters of a second. Just two minutes left. Two minutes to go. I'll tell you what. I'm getting used to this truck racing now. Switching over to a Formula V is, uh, <laughs> in a couple of minutes, once we get into our next series, it's going to be a bit of an eye-opener. Could not be more of a different type of vehicle. <laughs> Yeah, Nia, yeah. hey, I'm really getting the feel of this now, man. It looks like they're fighting. The Looking at the relative, there's like tenths of a second between them. So the AI's probably slowing themselves down heaps by fighting, and that was a bit sketchy into turn one then. Almost binned it on entry. Oh, a bit of grass on the right hand side there. There's half a second down, but it's a good job we've got a 10 second lead. Right front this is the last lap of the race now. Just got to keep it in one piece. We're going to win our first ever truck race. I mean, it's not our first truck race, but it's our first ever win. And after a fifth and a sixth at the start of the season, I didn't think I'd be saying that today. But after sticking it on pole by over, I think it was nine tenths of a second, at a circuit that really does play to the advantages of this vehicle, the Titan Twisty Herpins definitely didn't suit at the Nürburgring. The first round of the season at Snetterton would have been better if I didn't throw it away in the first, first few corners. So this is probably a reflection of the true pace that we have this season. Well, that is a win! You deserve that today. Across the line. Wow! That... That looked easy. But trust me, that wasn't easy to drive. These... these trucks... These trucks do take a lot of concentration. Um, the final round of the season is going to be Alton Park Foster's layout, which has quite a lot of uh, elevation change and is rather twisty, although not slow speed twisty. So it's going to be interesting. It's a very tight circuit, though, much tighter than Donington. Alton Park is very narrow. So that's going to make an interesting finale. But that is not something that we're going to be dealing with today. Because that is on next month of the schedule within Racing Life. This month, we've got a couple of Formula V championships to sign up for. With the uh, Formula V car that we've got in the garage. Just waiting, gathering dust. The championship winning... Formula V car that we've got waiting in the back there. The uh, American Formula V championship winning car is now going to be coming out of the garage. And we can either do the European series or the World Series. It's your choice, guys. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Well, I mean, we're going to do both on today's stream. I'm going to do the first round of each season, each series. But um, it, it depends which ones you want to, you want to see first. I'll, I'll see what the rounds are. And then I will uh, put another vote up in chat. Let's get confirmation of these results, shall we? <laughs> no win, no donut. Oh, maybe, maybe next time. Maybe if you win the championship or we win another round, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see this. <laughs> so let's confirm those results. Yep. Started on pole and won the race. Gives us 25 points. Felipe got one point. 
Wow, he had a shocker. So that is a 24-point swing in my favor. Gabriel managed to get up to second in the standings, so he only dropped seven points. However, if we look at the championship... Oh, look at that! Look at that! That is how quickly a championship can swing around. My goodness. We went from being in sixth miles off the pace to being third in the championship only three points behind with one race to go as Vushal says this is very spicy the decider for the series is going to be very spicy because we've got people close behind as well we got so many people in contention we've had three different races three different winners in this truck series I don't know which way it's going to go, guys. Uh, but we're not going to find out today. We're going to find out on the next Racing Life stream. Because, yeah, like I said, we've got Formula V to do. So let's actually switch it back to Racing Life very quickly. Let's pop our results in. So if we click on Advance. So European Truck Racing Championship Stage 3 at Donington National. Qualified in first. Finished first. That gives us 0.43 fame. and two thousand seven hundred dollars which is not that bad which is not that bad at all but it could have been a lot more if I'd have gone, gone with the Hankook deal <laughs> but uh, that, that's just the way things are you know you guys voted for me to be sponsored by Aral and that's the deal that we've got so that's fine democracy is in action so let's have a quick look at our stats here we can see that we got 18 fame 40 experience and $71,570. 22 races, 5 poles, 12 podiums, 8 wins. That's not bad. I'm going to have a look at the driver history. We can now see that started to fill out for, for here as well. So we've got a 5th, a 6th, and a 1st. But go back to the competition. The next stage of the truck racing... Uh, next uh, next stage of the championship is... is well, it's in it's in August. So we've got unfinished business in July 1st. We've got the European Formula V Championship and the Formula V World Championship. Now, Ricardo is saying that I should only be doing the Formula V World Championship and then move to higher grounds instead of getting bogged down in two series, basically. Now, I'm going to, as always, I'm going to put this out to you guys in chat. So uh, how much Formula V is nice so euro only world only or both so you guys can vote on whether i should register for both series or register for just the euros or just the formula v in fact you know what i'm gonna delete the euro only because that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever <laughs> Why would I only register for the European Formula V? Okay, you guys can decide whether or not I race in just the World Championship or whether I sign up for both. So, ask the community. Here we go. Boom! Let's see. So, Jimmy says, don't worry about the Peasant Euro Series. Geordie says, just go for the World. Colin says, Euro the World. Uh, Bambeek's chat will always put me <laughs> chat will always put me down Bambeek's that's uh, that, that's a given that's a given but Bulk has got pretty thick skin so it's fine so actually 10 votes in so far and we've only got 20% in favour of both championships so it's pretty convincing that I should only register for Formula V now let me talk you through why I might do both or why I might do just the world. So the advantages of doing just the world championship is I save money on registration fees and my driver fame is currently 18. The maximum that I can get up to in the European Formula V championship is 25. Although it would mean racing at Hockenheim, Alton Park Fosters, Alton Park Island and Cascade Alternate. If I race in the Formula V World Championship. It's a lot more money for the prize. There's a lot more popularity to be gained, so I could get a lot more fame. It does cost more to register. However, you've got Adelaide, Santa Cruz de Sol, Termos de Rio Hondo, 
Ibarra, Guapo, Guapori, Guapo, and Nurburgring Sprint. So there are some great circuits in that. Looks like the vote's very much in favour of the uh, just going to the World Championships. It looks like we're just going to the World Championships. 14 votes in so far. 79% in favour of just doing the World Series only. Not many people want me to do this Euro Series, it seems. So, I mean, we're going to do this series anyway. So let's register for it, okay? Because uh, we're going to be in there, basically. And one of the advantages of doing just the World Series is... Get the money, get the fame, and move up the ranks. Don't get bogged down doing all these series that I don't need to do. You guys want to see me progress? You want to see me get on to, say, you know, GT3 series? There's NASCAR series to race in. You know, it could be racing in the Mitsubishi Cup. And then when we get to November and December, it's pretty much an empty year. And then it generates a new series. So this might be... This Formula V World Championship Series might be the last big series of the year that I'm able to enter in. So the Formula V World Championship is Adelaide, Santa Cruz de Sol, Termos de Rio Honda, Autodromo Yokocha, Guapori, and Nürburgring Sprint. Whereas the European schedule is Hockenheim Short, Alton Fosters, Alton Island, and Cascade Alternate. So it's looking quite definitively in favor of just being the World Series. Hmm. And i got to be honest with you, this mustache is just not sticking. And it is so incredibly itchy! It's just driving me insane! I just want to pull it off and scratch it, but... I've got to, I've got to, I've got to see this through. I've got two races to go in the Formula V series. I've got to see this through. So, right, let's... While we're waiting for this vote, which, I, actually, no, I'm just going to call the vote now. Let's end the poll. We've got 15 votes. It's going to be definitive anyway. So, 73%... No, 70, yeah, 73% in favour of world-only championships. So, let's get this set up then, shall we? So, oh, Adelaide. First round is in Adelaide. So, let's... Go back to Automobilist 2. And let's get our championship set up. So we want to go back. We want to go to championship. We want to create a new one. So we want to edit the championship. Change the vehicle. We can get rid of the truck. We can put a Formula V. Where is it? I've lost it. Where's Formula V? There it is. Formula V Brahil. And we're going to get rid of that. Yep, cool. So it's Formula V. How many AI does it recommend? 19. I'm going to have 19 AI. I'm going to keep the scoring the same. Um, remove, remove, remove. Now, because we are moving up in, this, in the world, what do you think? Should we have longer races? Now, I'm going to keep qualifying the same. That's going to be 10 minutes. But should the races go up to 15 minutes, perhaps? Because this is a World Series, and previously we've just done 10-minute races in the Formula V. What do you reckon? Should we go up to 15 minutes for the race? And these are standing starts as well. I'm, I'm feeling 15 minutes. Oh, 100% agree, Bambiques. This is just superb. This, What Ricardo and the team have done with this app is just completely transform Automobilist 2. If it was 100% integrated, it would be amazing. If it basically set these series up for you, and if it got the results from the session, it would be just superb. But unfortunately, it doesn't integrate. That requires cooperation from Reza Studios. Uh, of which, it's not that they haven't cooperated. It's just that I don't think it's on their radar at the moment because they're very busy um, doing other stuff. So this is taking place in... Is this August? Competition... July. So let's change the date to 
July. Let's save it. Start time... Uh, let's put it at 3 p.m. instead. Weather's still going to be random, so that's fine. We don't know what we're going to get in terms of weather for the race. Mandar no, standing start. That looks good to me. 15 minutes. Cool. 10 minute qualifying, 15 minute race. That's it. That's it. That's basically going to be our season. Cool. So the first round is Adelaide. So after that we have... Uh, Santa Cruz do Sol, which I don't recognize. I don't... I don't recognize that circuit. Santa Cruz... That's not one that I'm familiar with. I'm gonna have to... No, I, I don't know that circuit. Oh, name of the championship. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Grimlocked, good morning to you. It's currently 10.35pm in Brisbane, Australia here. So it's good evening from me, but good morning to you. Okay. So I don't know that circuit. That's going to be a new one for me. That's going to be a learning experience for Bulk when he gets to round two of the series. Uh, let's have a look at round three. That is going to be... Tomas de Rio Honda. Oh, that... That... I think I know that one. We did that in the hot cars. That was really... That was... The nice wide one. Yeah, that was the nice wide one that we had in the hot cars. That was good. And then if we have a look at round four, what we've we got in round four in racing life, that is Yes, that's Ibarra. I love 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 that circuit. Let's get this set up in automobile list two. Oh, to join me, yeah, I'll cut you. If we go to Racing Life. What's round five? Round five is Guapor. Oh, Guapore? Oh, no, pronunciation's terrible. I'm sorry, guys. Someone in chat, please, please correct me. Because I'm probably offending lots of people by not getting that right. And that is another circuit I've not raced at at all, actually. I, d I don't know that place at all, so... Santa Cruz do Sol and Guapore? Guapara? I don't know. However you say it. That one. I don't, I don't know those places. And then for the season finale for round five, it's pronounced Birmingham. <laughs> Guapore. Guapore. Thank you, Nihei. Thank you. Thank you. I, that's much appreciated. So this is round six. And round six of the championship is at Nürburgring Sprint. Okay. Ah, uh, that's a good place for season finale. Uh, Nürburgring Sprint. Uh, it doesn't actually say whether it's the slow or the fast chicane. Nürburgring Sprint S or just Nürburgring Sprint. So Nürburgring Sprint is the one we just raced recently with the trucks. We could do that. Or we could do basically the the full 24 hour layout first chicane style, a really sharp chicane and then that's also the f mm, that's also got the slow chicane on it so if we're going to do sprint we might as well do the full you know Herman Tilke designed middly infield bit so yeah let's, let's do that then okay cool so we got oh sorry hang on a second I forgot to show you basically what I was showing you was Nürburgring sprint I forgot to change it over again, sorry guys. So we got Nürburgring Sprint, or we got Nürburgring Sprint S. So we got the the little short chicane layout here, or we've got the fiddly infield bit. And I, I reckon we should just go for the fiddly infield bit because that's just, you know. I was hoping we could get this chicane here to be the, the long open sweeping chicane, but sadly neither of those are featured on the sprint versions. So I'm going to go with that one. So there we go. Easy done. Um, mix up the scoring. Kevin M. Let's see what kind of score types we can get. So that goes down to 19th. Do we, can we have customs here? So let's have a look. So we got... That's just our standard 
Formula 3 Brazil. We've got top 10 standard. We've got stock car, which goes all the way down to 20th. We got Sprint 2017, which goes down to 14th. That goes down to 20th as well, so that's 30th. Stock Car Race 1, Stock Car Race 2. Top 10 Standard Formula Ultimate. They're the same. Although you get a point for pole position in Formula Ultimate. You got 6 points. Ooh, okay. I reckon we should go for this scoring standard. Because... Everybody's a winner down to 20th place, so everybody who finishes scores a point. We've got 20 runners in the field, 20th scores 1, and first scores 30. Now, at the top, that is... You know, there's not much difference between the points, so this is all about consistency. Whereas the previous scoring standards that we've had have been more about wins, because there's quite a bit of a gap there. So I'm going to go with this. I'm going to go with this scoring standard, just to mix things up a little bit. Good idea. Thanks, Kevin M. Uh, how about classic points? Unfortunately, I don't think you can put your own custom points in, Andre. You have to go with one of the presets. You can't, you can't put your own in, because that would be awesome if you could. Or maybe you can with some text file modifications, I don't know. But I'm just going to go with this one because this seems like it could produce some very tight championship fights. I like the look of that. Yeah, let's do that. Hey, Full Ayrton! Uh, no racing LMDH video? Uh, nah, mate. Nah, nah, nah. I, um, I don't tend to go with the trends in sim racing. I just tend to do what I'm enjoying because I only have time to do like one stream, one video a week at the moment. And if I wanted to cover everything that iRacing did, everything that Raceroom did, everything that Automobilista 2 did, everything that R Factor 2 did, I, I'd, be, I'd have to put out like a video every single day of the week. And it's just not physically possible. So I have to pick and choose my fights and uh, plenty of other people more qualified than me in iRacing can make a video about the LMDH for Lurton. And nothing against it. But just, um, it's just not, I, yeah, it just never crossed my radar, man. <laughs> never crossed my radar, mate. Uh, long dark stream tomorrow. Yeah, oh, oh, eight gigs of updates to download first, Tobias. Anyway, let's get back on with this championship, shall we? Save, um, selected vehicle, Formula V, livery select. Let's go our trusty... That was it. It was Louis Costa number 75 that we had, wasn't it? Yes. Alright then, that's our vehicle. We've got our championship set up there as well. I think this is it. Adelaide, Santa... Yeah, we've got six rounds, we've got the vehicle. Yeah, we're good. Let's start our championship. Um, opponent aggression on high. I can't remember what the opponent's skill was though. Was it 105? Or was it 110? Was Formula V 110? Was it like 107 or something? I'll do on 107 because 107% rule. And if I qualify on pole by a big margin, I'll bump it up to 110 for the race. Or was it 95, was it? Colin Burton said it was 95. I think it was 95 in the wet, maybe, uh, Kiritiba that time, because I got absolutely smoked. But I think in the dry it was 100, I think Kevin M's right, I think it was around 105, 107. <laughs> yeah, Bushel, <laughs> the long shark. Hmm. Anyway, 107, let's go with 107. Let's start. So. Adelaide in the Formula V. <laughs> uh, yes. And let me just check Racing Life just to make sure. We have signed up. Yep, we're signed up. We do have the Formula V in the garage. Sweet. And we're ready to go. Okay. Well, let's do this then. 10 minutes qualifying, 15 minute race. Let's get stuck straight in. And this is going to be so different than the trucks we've just done. Let me do a refresh chat in the headset before we get stuck in. 
But this is going to be so different to the trucks that we've been having recently. breaks and turns <laughs> oh amazing oh I forgot how much fun it is to slide the rear of that Formula V oh that was a truck breaking point for sure can break so much later wow and I forgot in these things as well you don't really need to go down to second gear I got the voice of Rangy in my ear. You just use third and fourth gear for the majority of the track. Although maybe for the for the hairpin at the end of the straight, maybe I'll be using second gear for that. Still got cold tires here. Let's approach the infamous turn eight for the first time, which I believe Rita Studios have actually modified since the most recent update there used to be just there a little bit of the wall that would flick out and if you were like doing a chastain and riding the wall you'd, you'd basically hit that and you'd be your suspension would be demolished i think they've got rid of that now which is a very nice move I didn't actually notice the mechanic, Jimmy, Vushel. I'll have to go back and have a look at the replay. That one completely slipped my mind because I was too busy playing with the gears. Wow, I'm s I've got so much more performance remaining on the brakes. Wow, I'm just braking way too early. Alright, turn one. Launch it at the curbs. The suspension's great on these things. Don't go into Schumacher Wall. Missing a lot of apexes here. It's going to take me a little bit to get back up to speed in this car, I think. <laughs> it's so different than the truck. Which also took a little bit of getting used to as well. Wow, it's almost flat, turn 8. Again, I can, I can just feel that there's so much performance in the car. Oh, not like that though. Oh. Oh, okay. That's in the fence. There's <laughs> so much more performance in the car. Have a fence. The leader has just done a 143 .85. Oops indeed, Sean. <laughs> We've got five minutes left to actually get a lap on the board now. Watch your mirrors, there's a car approaching. The leader has just done a 143.67. Okay, 143 to beat. I'm going to cut the chicane because I've got traffic behind me. doesn't matter that I've invalidated the lap. Let's let them go through. We all have. And this actually works out really well because now I've got a reference point to see where I'm meant to be braking and turning in not there on your left clear left let them let them go through cold tires five minutes to go five minutes left yeah i remember the formula v's to do take a couple of laps to get up the temperature all right let's try this again shall we 
be brave through turn eight. Because remember, I've been quite hesitant there so far. Yeah, that's possibly flat. Remember, I took too much speed in last time here. Clunk that wall on the outside, that was close. Wow, they seem to have a lot of grip compared to me, these AI. I'm falling back. I mean, I know I've got cold tires on, but still. Fastest lap for Mayer, 143, 128. Alright, let's see what we can do. Invalidated lap. Yay! You've gone outside of track limits there. Very slidey. Although I'm not getting that much heat in the tyres, so I can kind of get away with it. Not adjustable brake bias in the Formula V here. I think I've got good pace, I just need to put a lap down that reflects it. Oh, look at these fighting side by side through turn 8. I'm going to get held up on this lap, so I'm actually going to back up. Let these guys sort it out. Give myself some space on track so I don't get held up towards the end of my next lap. Although I'm very conscious of the fact that I've got two people coming in hot behind. You can see that on the rear view mirror there. Need to make sure that I manage the traffic on this outlap. Well, it's not an outlap, it's a second outlap, I guess. But I don't want to be too close to those guys because they're going to maybe get in my way if they keep on fighting like that. In fact, I think I'm probably a little bit too close to them. I'll get two laps in. So I've got this and one more chance, but don't cut. Don't cut this first chicane. Which is a fine, mate. Two minutes to go. Two minutes. There we go. Alright, I can definitely take a lot more speed through there. This guy behind is looking feisty. Alright. Still there. I'm on a hot lap here, mate. Sector 1 is 1.1 off the pace. We tie temperatures look good. One point one off the pace in sector one, wow. Definitely take a lot more speed through that first chicane. I just need to get the line right. It's you got to straight line it just perfectly. Alright, be brave through here. Tires are a lot better now. That's it. Use the rotation. Good. Good, good, good. Could definitely break a lot later there. I'm losing time. The leader has just done a 143.16. Sector 2 time is okay. Oh, I thought that was going into the fence. Need to take a bit less speed at the apex. And they're both coming in the pits as well, so that traffic is going to be out the way. Perfect. New fastest lap for Mayer, 143.00. Alright, this is going to be my first lap of the session. Where's it going to put me on the grid? 19th! Oh, okay. That's not good. Oh, that's a cut track. That's definitely a cut track. And round it goes. Oh, that's the end of my qualifying session. 19th. Oh, and there's another biff as well. Sorry, guys. Oh. Oh, my chat's frozen again already. Why well, the chat didn't cut out a lot there? Uh, yeah, Buck's going to be doing the last of first challenge indeed. That was not ideal.
Yeah, I'm still driving it like a truck, Tobias. It's just, um... I just haven't got the hang of it yet, actually. So, starting in 19th... Oh, that's not a good way. That's, that's, that's not how I wanted to debut in the World Championships. The big stage now, you know? Bulk is, uh... Bulk's on the big stage, and he's starting 19th out of 20. That's not great. Um, last to first coming up, I guess. Hmm. Wish me luck, hey guys. And if you are enjoying it, don't forget to leave the stream a like, say hi in chat, and subscribe for more Racing Life action. Maybe next week, maybe the week after. We'll see. Uh, the AI is at 107, Colin. Uh, I am... On a 44.9, they're on a 42.9. I'm two seconds off the pace, but I know, I know I can go two seconds faster. I'm not driving this Formula V as well as I was in the in the American Championship because I'm still kind of, I've still got truck habits. Anyway, race one, standing start, 15 minutes, not 10 minutes. Here we go. Oh, and it's damp. It's damp. It's damp. Okay. We got rain on a damp track. Ah! And my chat's not working in the headset. Green, green, green. I'm not sure what's going on with chat again today. It's still working on... Oh no, there it is. It's just loaded in all at once. Got smoked off the line, down to 20th, otherwise start- Whoa, yeah, lost the place. Car what? Left side. In the middle, three wide. Clear right. In the middle, three wide. Clear right. Clear. Clear all around. Right side. Still there. Clear right. Oh, there's only one set of tires available, three Ricardo. Wide, two right. Right side. Hold your line. Keep it steady. He's still there. Clear right. There's only one set of tires available, mate. They're all weather tires. We got the run going right. into turn eight here. Hold Up to 16th. Line. This is not going to work on the outside. Surely not still in the wet. There. Surely Hold not. <laughs> still there. Hold your line. Still there. Hold your line. Still there. Three wide. You're on the left. On your right. Clear right. You're clear. Made it through. 15th place. Wow. Now it's not raining enough to mean that there's standing water on the track, so we're not going to have puddles like we did at Ibarra, you know? Still there. Clear right. Where we kind of have standing water and we get bogged down. It's not too bad. It says it's raining 40%, but it's not nice. pooling on the track anyway yet. And yeah, this is Empty Boxes, my spotter, by the way. Here's one of the official voice packs available. With Crew Chief, and I've been using them for a couple of years now. Awesome. Empty box is probably one of the reasons I make sim racing videos. Oh, look at the Oppo. Incredible. <laughs> this is so much fun. Oh, missed that apex. Car left. Clear on the left. Right side. Keep it steady. Oh, got Still mugged. There. Pushed out wide, didn't turn in at all then. Still there. Hey, Danny. Still there. Still there. Down to 17. Still there. 12 minutes to go in the session. We're on the outside of turn Still 8 again. There. Clear, clear to the right. Oh, that's close to the wall. All right. Hold your line. Keep it steady. Still there. Hold your line. Clear right. We're not making as much progress as I thought. Always hoping for. 
No, no. Oh, in the fence, in the fence. Hold your line. Clear to the left. There's a bit of suspension damage there for sure now. It's still drivable, but there's a bit of right hand side down. Mayer is leading the race. The leader's just done it. 146.48. All right. Hold your line. On your right. In the middle. Hold your line. All right. Clear left. Ah. Oh. Um, I vote for a restart with the AI turned down slightly on that one, guys. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? AI turned down to 105? I'm running them at 107, but... Uh, oh, should we just do a restart as is? Should we just do a restart as is? Mm. Restart, but bin vote still counts. Yeah, I, I've, been, I've been that myself. Let's just restart it as is. Let's not mess around with the AI, shall we? Let's just let's just give it another crack because I'm still getting I'm still getting on my feet with this thing. Green, green, green. I just haven't got my line right through this first chicane yet. I know it's fourth gear, or it should be in fourth gear, but I haven't... I seem to need to knock it down to third. On your left. Three wide, two left. On your left. Three wide. You're in the middle. Left side. Clear all around. Right side. Right side. Oh, no! Rewind, He's done it again! Left. Left side. Three wide. You're in the middle. Clear left. Yeah, that's right side. That's that's uh, that's a bit bonked. I'm gonna knock the AI down a setting, guys. <laughs> uh, Colin Burton says the AI is too high for wets. To be honest with you, um, it is so crappy in Automobilista 2 that the AI are overpowered in the wet. So I'm knocking that down to 105, and I'm going to start that again. Final restart. I know this is cheating. Yeah, the AI are pulling away too much on the corner exit, too fast. It's like they've got, um, they, they have too much grip. Although with a restart now, is it still going to be wet? No, look, look. Automobilist 2 regenerates the weather on random. It doesn't keep it. That, that, hmm. I don't know whether I should have random weather. I think I should go back to using real weather. At least it was consistent then. At least it was consistent. Anyway, let's try again. 15 minutes. Here we go. And down towards turn three. On your left. Three wide, you're on the right. Mega send. On your but left. hey, there's an open door. I'm gonna take it. One side. Three wide, in the middle. That was a bit aggressive. By an old mate on the inside, I couldn't just turn in. Left side. Because I could see him sending it on the left on the radar. Hold your line, clear left. Bit of a tap on Andre up ahead to 15th. We're heading up to turn 8 for the first time again now. This is a bit more Borrowed. balanced, I think. 107 was Still a bit there. too much. 105 seems kind of right. Oh no! Oh, I said no more restarts. This is it, guys. This is it. I just drifted the rear out. I said no more restarts. I've got to stick with what I said. Your suspension's going to need sorting. You'll need to come in. Rewind. You're on the left still. Unless you want to take pity on me and give me another restart. Rewind. One more restart. On your right. 
right. Yeah, the suspension's knackered. Car right, three one, two right. Oh well, yeah, oh, this this is kind of undrivable. One more restart. Okay. <laughs> this is this is not the new Croft. This is not the crew. This is not the new Croft. Go go go. Still think the AI are a little bit overpowered. They've got a lot more grip than me. I just got to be careful. I'm just trying to send it too much. I think I'm getting a bit too frustrated here. go. Keep it steady. Still there. We're right. <laughs> it's so true, Jimmy. Just one more. Just one more. Maybe one more. Now, there's no fifth gear in this Formula V, so don't... Just get your hand off the gear stick, Bulk. Get it through turn eight in one piece, and then get down to the hairpin and in and out in one piece. On your left. On your left. On your left. That's an open door. I'll take that. Hold your line. Clear to the left. Up to 13th. Now I just need to stop running wide there. Because I've made that mistake in qualifying. And I made it also in one of the races I've done previously when it was restarted. Left side. Three wide. Stay right. Clear on the left. Left side. Oh. Big under... Big corner entry oversteer then. Right. No damage. The race moves on. Race goes on. Ah. That's much better through turn one there. That's good. Race moves on, guys. It's not over. Almost did a David Coulthard and wasn't even coming into the pits. So I've got the pace, it's just the wheel to wheel AI ness of the racing. It's kind of. They're definitely getting their elbows out a bit more in the World Series than, than I'm used to. Maybe I'm just making stupid mistakes. Either way, this is proving a little bit tougher than some of the other racing series I've taken part in so far in racing life. <laughs> Mr. Bishy still in the points. Everybody's in the points in this race, mate. But I like your optimism. Alright, this is not an overtaking spot. Just play it cool. Get him on the exit. Oh, that's close. That's very close. Hold your line, clear left. Your last lap time was at 143.26. Sector 3 is 0.32, off the pace. Up to 19th. Moving in the right direction. With like 10 minutes to go. Right side, clear right. Left side. Still there. A bit aggressive, but I've got to get the elbows out. That's 18th. Everyone moving to the right hand side to defend. I'm not sure why they're going over there. 
That's not the racing line, it's only going to compromise them. There we go. 3 turn 8. Definitely getting held up there. Okay, down 10 minutes to go. That's 10 minutes left. And now it's just like a regular race with 10 minutes. <laughs> it's doable. Let's get some points. Let's get some solid points, shall we? Far left, clear left. Yeah, top 10 finish for the sponsor money as well, Colin. 144.06. That's a good point. Let's see if I can get my sponsor money. Go, made it through. Hold your line. Oh, no, I didn't. Hold your line. Clear to the left. Cap two. Car right. Clear to the right. Right side. Clear right. No, 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 no. Bugger. Too oh, much curb. Your suspension's completely knackered. There's nothing we can do there. Yep. Yeah. It doesn't steer anymore. <laughs> it doesn't steer anymore. Oh, is this going to be a DNF? Is this does this count as a DNF or is this going to be one more restart? I think I've pushed my luck with the restarts quite a bit today. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it to the menu. I'm gonna leave it up to you. Colin says one more, Jimmy says one more, Andre says Karma wins. Yeah, the 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 the, the, the DNF button Bambeeks is maybe Ricardo wants me to try out the uh maybe Ricardo wants me to try out the DNF button. Nieh, restart with a five second that's what worked at Ibarra. Restart with a five second penalty. Yes. I'm going to restart with a five second penalty. Minutes, you really need to get on with it. Be ready, we're about to go green. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Because what this does now is let all of these people fight up the road. Because I always get caught up in the first lap nonsense. I don't want to get caught up in that first lap nonsense. I just want to get into the flow, let the field spread out a bit, and then pick them off one at a time. And if I don't finish this race, then it's definitely a DNF. Look how slowly they're going up there. Right side. Car right, rewind, you're the left. On your right. I mean, there was no way I was not going to overtake there, Tobias. Clear right. <laughs> I just have to park it in the middle of the track, mate. Left side. I've got the run here. There. Nice and gentle, nice and gentle. Yep, I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to defend it to the inside, though. Right side. Rewind, you're the left, right side. Still there. Keep it steady. Clear right. Clear on the right, okay. Right, made it through! Made it through! Let's focus now, let's focus. On your left. Oh, very slow. See. Still They're there. very slow on the brakes, but they absolutely smoke me in the acceleration zones. This, it's like I'm kind of racing a different class of car. And that's making 
And that's making it incredibly difficult to race them because it's like there's such a performance difference in different parts of the track. It's not like, you know, they've got the same car that I have. I can easily outbrake them. But they right. easily accelerated me. But now look, Rewind. when they send it up the inside, they can more than easily Rewind. get me on the brakes. It's like they've got selective right. performance. Clear to the right. It's very strange. That's 14th though. No stupid mistakes, Dan, come on. No stupid mistakes. 14th place. Need to get top 10 to keep my sponsorship money bonus active. <laughs> Jimmy, so true. See, look, look how much I've caught up here. I'm getting held up, I'm getting held up. Putting the power down. And they've smoked me by half a second, just like that. There's definitely a bit of an imbalance here with these AI. Yeah, they're working on a different physics near here, that's true. It is making it incredibly hard to race them, which is strange, because I remember racing them at Curitiba, and they were great in the North American Championship. At VIR, they were great to race as well. Here, maybe it's just the way they're tuned to Adelaide. Right, 14th. I can smell a top 10 there. That is a great idea, Bambiques. Restarts cost money. There has to be some consequence to restarting the race as green and yellow are getting stuck into each other up ahead here. All right. Still there. Keep it steady. Clear right. Left side. Still. I'll be on the inside for turn eight here. Hold your line. All right. And now it's going to be the outside for turn eight. Still there. Oh, sketchy. That wasn't. That wasn't where Still I wanted there. to be. Three wide. Two right. Right side. Three wide. You're on the left. Clear to the right. Maybe because the AI are battling each other, they're being super cautious on the brakes, and that's what's causing them to slow down. On your left. When you race them one on one, they are a lot better. So maybe it's just a collision detection thing, you know? Maybe they're just being super cautious, trying not to crash into each other. On your left. Hold your line. Clear left. Well done, Dan. Great move. That's 12th. With nine and a half minutes to go. Okay, we're definitely moving in the right direction this race. This is good. This is good. This is much more like it. Nice train of cards up ahead as well. Perfect. Right side. Oh, big dive then. Still there. Clear right. Hi, <laughs> Colin. Hey, buggy. Still going, mate. Still going strong. A really nice run there of seven. All right. Line. Now I'm ahead going into turn eight here. Right. They backed out of it. Good pass. Excellent. All right, Kevin M, look after yourself, mate. Look forward to seeing you on the replay. Yeah, this, I think this is for fifth place. This battle. A lot of cars in quick succession here. With eight minutes to go in the race as well. It's looking pretty feisty. Clear 
Yeah, see, look, look how much I can catch them on the brakes here. Keep it steady. Clear to the right. Then look how much they pull away in acceleration. Just done at 144.91. Nice and easy into turn one. Oh, a bit, bit too much curb there. Didn't get a cut track for it though, so that's fine. That's good. Halfway home, fuel's good. On your right. Still there. Oh, Still didn't work. There. I thought I could maybe sneak one at the inside, but couldn't pull it off. Very well defended from blue. Slowing fast out here. Let's get the run on to eight. Bit of oppo on the way out doesn't help. On your left. But that is a good run. Hold your line. Clear to the left. Well done, Dan. Good pass. Nice front. We got another one into turn eight, maybe. He's still there. Still there. Oh! Rewind, you're on the right. Rewind. In the that middle. was so close to dying. Hold your line. Clear right. He's back down the inside. Back down the outside. Got him. Up to nine. Left side. Clear left. Car left. Oh, dive. Dive from the AI Still behind. There. Clear left. I should get away with it though. I think this this is the battle for fifth place. I know I've got so much more pace in it. V9, that lap was at 145.26. Let's switch the roo back to the inside. On your left. Hold your line. Oh! Bit of a turn in there, but that's fine. Clear left. I thought I had the overlap, but uh, apparently not. Suspension feels all right, no damage. It's all good. Just a slight wheel-to-wheel -wheel contact there. No foul. Just rubbing's racing or whatever. Let's get our usual. Clear right. Good run. Oh. On your left. Still there. I got the slipstream there. Keep it steady. Hold your line. Clear on the left. Clear. There we go. Car right. Good run through eight. They're going to switch back on me. He's still there. And Soupy, right. hello. Welcome to the stream. Five minutes left. Car right. Still there. Hold your line. Getting around the outside. Five minutes to go. We're in eight. That fifth place is so okay, close. Next car is Martins. Fourth place is like 10 seconds down the road, so that's gone. Fifth is definitely the best I can hope for today. Left side. Keep it steady. Wow, how slow do you want to go in the braking zone? Still there. Jeez. Clear left. That's the stuff, we'll have some more of that. Seventh. P7, your lap time was. Left side. Still there. Keep it steady. Wow! I got boxed out on the outside there, had to back out of it, which has left me vulnerable. Back down to eight. Left side. Hold your line. It's a hell of a fight, my goodness! Catch up here. Three minutes to go. Very close to fifth here. I'm gonna have to make my move strategically. I'm gonna have to get a good run out of seven again and slingshot down into eight. So here we go, don't break too late. Get the apex nice and good. Straight line the exit. There we go, get the power down. Pull to the right. On your left. Might even get a two, a, a couple there. of them here. Two left, three wide. Might even get all of them. Three wide. You're I think we're going to get all of them. What a hell of a run. Left side. Clear to the left. Right oh, side. very tight Clear for right. turn eight though. He's in the wall behind. He's in the wall behind. He lost it. On your right. Getting dived. Give him the space. Still there. Still there. Had to give him the space. Right. He had the overlap there. there.
This is more like it. Abri, hello, welcome. Congratulations for making it live. Good to see you on the stream. I've got one more race to go after this. <laughs> Jimmy, true mate, true. P6. Quiet lap time, I think. Got to focus to get this guy. Quiet lap time to get him. Right side, player right, car right, three wide, you're on the left, three wide, two right, clear right, just two minutes left, two minutes to go, left side, clear left, on your right, clear, clear to the right, right side, clear to the right, Quiet lap didn't really help. We're still kind of in the same position that we were. The leader has just done 144.25. I'm too busy defending my spot to try and make gains on the guy ahead. So the trick now is to not let the guys behind get a look in. Half a second ahead. Half a second behind. Last lap. Battle for fifth. Here we go. It's on. Got a good run through the first chicane here. But it's always been historically quite tricky to pass in these 90 degrees, so just a bit of patience here. Bit of patience, bulk. Car right. Clear to the right. Bit of patience. Let's use our favourite turn eight spot. Oh, it's a bit, bit of understeer there. Clear to the left. Defend it. Right. Defend right. it. You're clear. There we go. Get the run, get the run. Slow in, fast out. Bit of oppo, nice. Right side. They hold the inside. I'm gonna get pushed all the way to the wall. Clear, clear to I the think right. I've got it. I think I've got it. Nice move, mate. That's up to fifth. Yeah, all that fighting has put the cars ahead like 10 seconds down the road. Like, if I can get into that fight for the next race, I'm gonna defend the inside here. On your left. Hold your line. Clear to the left. If I can get into that pack for the next race, I reckon I can stick with them. It's just starting at the back and fighting my way through. Obviously, one arm tied behind my back and all that nonsense. 19th to 5th. It took a few restarts to get there, but the 5 second penalty was what did it, I think. It's kind of the AMS2 equivalent of starting from the pit lane, right? And my fastest lap on the final lap to boot as well. There we go. E5, okay, that's the finish. Well done, mate. Oh, ho, 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 that one was hard work. That one was a lot of hard work. Left side, three wide, you're on the right. Goodness, 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 what a race, what a battle. Skip cooldown lap. Hold your line. <laughs> Still there. <laughs> what an insurance race, true, Still Ricardo. There. We found the timeline where Bulk survived. Hold your line. Whew. Good racing. Still there. 19th to 5th. Clear to the left. Yeah, it feels a bit cheap having the restarts. I think that the uh, 5 second penalty is a really good way of doing it. Great idea, Nia, hey? Um, anyway, let's continue. So, with the point scoring system, you know, that's not too bad. 11 points off the lead. That could be a lot worse. Renan Cassetta, Heads and Aguera. Hello, Pedro Maia. Lucas Veloso. Myself, Daniel Rienda. Wallace Martins. Antonio Vieira Souza. Luis Albionati. And Trevor Carmody. 
Five plus five seconds per restart. Oh, oh, no, that, that's a bit of jeopardy there. Okay. On your left. Right. So there's confirmation of the results Still again. There. So let's continue and let's show that back in racing life. Let's go and put our results in, shall we? Formula V qualified in 19th and race result was fifth. Not too dissatisfied with that at the end of the day. So let's finish. So we earned, oh wow, 0.5 fame and $2,700 in sponsor money because obviously we got our top 10. So we're now up to 18 fame. And we got five races left on the RL sponsorship. So that's doing all right. Yeah, the penalty works if you're last on the grid. However, you should be in front. If if you should be in front, it might cause a bit of damp. Yeah, it could be some carnage there. <laughs> if I hold on the grid for five seconds and I'm in the middle of the pack, only works if I'm at the back. That is true. Okay, right then. So if we click advance, we've got no more registered races to take part in. Uh, we need to keep our truck for the truck series. We need to keep a Formula V. So these leases are current. We have five races left on our sponsor so that's fine uh, there's nothing else you want to sign up for in this month we're not going to be doing um, European Formula V because we voted that we just want to get through the ranks as quickly as possible so we're not going to be doing that series we can't sign up for any more so there's nothing left to do apart from advancing to August so now our lease money's come out we're down to $65,845 ah Olaf tiny trophy shot per restart that is going to make it a lot more difficult per restart let's, let's be honest let's be honest <laughs> all right then uh driver history yeah it's not good hang on a second i can see a pattern here sixth first five sixth first five sixth first five so maybe we're going to finish sixth in this race. Or we're going to break the pattern. We'll see. So let's have a look at the competition. We have got... Excuse me. Yeah, Bambeeks. <laughs> Bulk had a bad race today because of a crash. Oh, wait. No, yeah, he had a crash. Wait. Yeah, he really had a crash. No, it seems he had a decent race after... <laughs> that sums up Adelaide, round one of the Formula V World Championship. Um... Now, we're not going to go back into the trucks because it seems completely counterintuitive to do three races in a truck, one race in the V, and then back in a truck again. We're going to continue with the Formula V World Championship, and this is going to be my last race of the stream. Because it is currently 11.30 p.m. here in Brisbane, and I'm getting tired. So, round two. Ah, oh, that's a prize money. I don't want that. Round two is at Santa Cruz de Sol, a circuit that I have never raced at before, and I am not familiar with. 15 minutes of it so i reckon we should just get stuck straight into practice because we don't need to do any admin don't need to sign up for any series renew any leases renew any sponsorship deals let's just get on with it let's just let's just go racing so round two of the formula v world championship santa cruz de sol i'm going to keep it at 105 if you guys are happy with that because i do have the pace to keep up with the leaders if I'm in the lead pack. So that puts the pressure on. Yeah, let's do this. Super 8's on this track and it's always a crash fest. Our truck season finale is going to happen next stream, Ricardo. We're not going to get stuck into that today, unfortunately. All right, Mr. Bishy, it is uh, past midnight down south in Melbourne, Victoria. Or not Melbourne, or wherever in Victoria may be. So sleep well and um, maybe catch the last race on replay tomorrow before work. See? I don't know. Thanks thanks for hanging out, Mr. Bishy, though. Right, let's do this. Brand new circuit. Brand new circuit that I am not familiar with. What could possibly go wrong? Ten minutes to learn it and set a time on the grid. Let's do this. Let's get that pit limiter on. Streamlabs is still going, yep. Chat's refreshed in the headset, we're good to go. 
All clear on pit exit. You can push now. All right, Dan. We've got nine minutes to get the job done. Let's get some heat into these brakes. Your tyres are cold. Watch out. Quite a wide open track by the look of it. So like a 90 degree left. Okay, I like that. Blind crest and chicane. That looks flat if you get the line right. And then what have we got here? Breaking over crest into a banked long, long left. Oh, that's, that's a long corner. And back out the other side again. That's where we just came from over there. So then... He's slowing up quite a bit. I've got a bit of closing speed here. This is tight. And then again over another cresty bit to the right here. Third gear. 50 markers. He's not turning in. Is this a late apex corner or something? It's a long sweeping corner. Wow. Up to fourth. Are they trying to let me through? Because they think I'm on a hot lap here. I want to follow you, mate. All right. I want to follow you. Keep it steady. Still there. Still there. We're right. It does look like a pretty decent track, Jimmy. Uh, the only thing is I don't really know which way I'm going. It's mostly left-handers, medium third gear. I remember this first corner was a lot tighter than I remembered. On your left. Clear left. Car left. Clear left. There we go, he can have that. And this is like the shimmy right. Ooh, a bit of oppo there. That was the shimmy right. And the long left to see it through. Yep, yep, I remember that one. Because that one goes on forever. And this is the little flick to the left and then sharp right. Break at the 50. Sharp right. Yep. Right side. I missed that apex. Right. We've got like a medium right here. Eyes down the road. This is the long sweeper. It's quite an open circuit, so you can see a lot of it in advance. It's quite nice like that. Car right. Clear right. That's not an overtaking spot. No markers there, wow. Just gotta trust the braking point, I guess. B12. This is how I learned the track the Bogan way, indeed, Boggy. Just drift it sideways the whole time. Okay, slow it down, slow it down. This one is a lot tighter than you think. Drift it on exit, nice. Flat chicane. Oh, those curbs are going to kill someone in the race, I can see that. Flick it to the right. Never ending left. Which then goes into a crest over the right, yep, yep, there it is. Short straight. And then we've got a braking zone at the 50, which goes left. And then a sharp right, which I was not sharp enough for last time, so I'm sharper now. That's it. Another kind of sharpish right. Which leads into the long sweeping left. Which goes on forever. And this goes into a long sweeping right. Which then quickly goes into a 
not so sweeping left. Sector 2 is 0.41. And then leads into the final corner, which is blind. Doesn't have a turning point. Oh, there's a 50 marker up there. Still there. We're right. And that could probably be a lot faster. I'm getting held up by this guy a bit. But that's going to put me eighth on the grid. Even with all that fighting, that's not bad. So let's see if we can get past him. Right side. Hold your line. Let's do a lap on our own now. We're right. So we can do a lap on our own now. We're kind of familiar with it. Blind chicane. That's it. A little flick to the right and never ending left. Brake temperatures look good. Tight temps are good. Sector one time's okay. Flick to the right, short straight, break at the 50, sharp right. I need to break a bit before 50, I missed that turn in. Sharp, it's sharp, it's sharp, it keeps going, that's it. It's another sharp one here. Long sweeper. Another long sweeper into medium sweeper left. It closes, it tightens on exit. Wow, okay, that's quite deceptive. Just bogging it down in fourth gear. And then let's keep it in fourth gear for this. Let's get the turn in just after 50. Look at the barriers on the inside there. Get it round, don't run too wide, otherwise it's cut track, I suppose. But that, wow, okay. I think I've got this. Quarter a second off the pace here. Quick. Sector 3 is 0 0.31 off the pace. Break around about 120. Time was 139.93. Oh, I missed the, the blind left for the chicane there. That's put me off by three tenths. Sector 1 is 0.37 off the pace. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. Wow. Big slides. Not going to improve it on this lap, that's for sure. Pushing too hard now. <laughs> Colin, maybe. Just kind of speaking to myself as I'm learning, this, learning the track as we go. But these are literally, I think, I think these are my first laps. I may have done one or two test laps here when Automobile Lister 2 first came out. But that, that's a long time ago now. Like two years, maybe over two years. Yeah, now this this lap's not this this lap's not as good. Just pushing too hard. You're a second off the pace in sector two. There's a lot of sideways going on, that's for sure. There's a bit of time to be found in the final sector. I just lost 1.2 in the first sectors. Sector so now, is this is my final lap of the session. I'm qualifying in fourth as it stands. Let's see if I can improve on that. Then we've got to get over to the left-hand side of the track. Pretty sharpish here. For the chicane, there we go, that's better. Sector one is quick. Feather that throttle. Get the drive out. Turn in a bit earlier for this one.
Remember this one tightens on exits, so let off the throttle now, keep it to the right. I'm gonna turn it in for this. Oh, it's wide! It's wide, it's going, it's gone! Ah! Up on the grass banks. Well, that's a, that's a convenient place to park it, I guess. <laughs> Alright, let's return to the pit box. I couldn't improve on my time. I, I was going to, but I just pushed a bit too hard on that left-hander. Should have put it down to third, but I was a little bit indecisive. Um, yep, yeah, still going potato, although this is the last race of this stream. It's 11.45pm, so if this goes well then this should see me through to midnight. So let's continue to race one, starting fourth on the grid. Let's see if I can keep it in with the lead pack. What weather have we got? The end of the session. Oh, okay. 15 minutes. You'll need to get on with this. We got heavy cloud and a dry track. So this looks promising. Uh, what did I end up doing today, Potato? I did three truck races, of which I finished uh, fifth, sixth, and then I won the third one. And I'm three points behind the leader of the championship heading into the fourth and final race on the next stream. And then I went into the Formula V World Championship where I actually took about five restarts to get through the Adelaide round. Because I qualified in 19th position out of 20. And just kept, kept on making stupid moves, getting caught up in stupid mistakes. And um, eventually finished in fifth. Now it's round two of the World Series in Formula V and... We got a 15-minute race coming up. Let me make sure. Yeah, that's good enough for fuel. I've got 18 laps in the tank there. That's nice. Um, starting in fourth position, so that's a lot better than last time. Yeah, I had a few restarts, mate. I, I just got tangled up with the AI because the AI at Adelaide are terrible on the brakes, but overpowered on acceleration. So it was like I was racing a different class of vehicle, which made it very difficult. It wasn't like racing, racing. It was like avoidance. Uh, I did get a bit overconfident, Colin. Um, it should have been a DNF. Let's be real, it should have been a DNF, so I'm very lucky to come out with the fifth. But I did put it over to chat, and you said basically start with a five-second penalty from the back of the grid, which I did. Anyway, final race of the stream. 15 minutes in the Formula V at... What's the name of the circuit again? Santa Cruz do Sol. 15 minutes, starting in fourth. Hope you guys have enjoyed it so far today. If you have, don't forget to leave it a like. Say hi in chat, which reminds me I'll refresh that in the headset now. And subscribe to make sure you don't miss next week's stream, where we do the finale of the Trucks race, uh, Truck Racing Championship and also continue with some more Formula V. Maybe even progress to GT3, if we can get enough fame. Anyway, let's get on with this race. 15 minutes. You really need to get on with it. Okay, down. Nice and neat. Stay out of trouble. Oh. You've just been handed a drive-through penalty. I had the clutch in. Why did it accelerate? I had the clutch in. Right, that doesn't count. You saw my pedal cam. I had the clutch in, guys. V4. Get ready, mate. I've just been given a drive-through. Go, go, go. What? 15 minutes. You'll need to get on with this. V4. Get ready. I've got my clutch in. Green, green, green. Alright, that'll do. Very strange. Rewind. You're the one. Down to fifth. On your right. Still there. Hold your line. Clear to the right. Ah, uh, well, onwards and upwards with the race. Something funky going on with the clutch there. I had it in, but as soon as I put the accelerator in, it was starting. Still there. Clear on the left. Seems to be working fine for my H pattern shifting now, though, so that's not too bad. Car right. Hold your line. Hold your line. Clear He's right. going to defend the insides. Oh! Still there. And then back into the braking zone. Still there. Clear left. Feisty racing so far. Mm -hmm. 
I am net down one position though in fifth. It's good, it's fine. 15 minutes, longer race than usual to get things sorted. I'll sneak that one up the inside, thank you very much. Still there. Keep it steady. Or maybe I won't. Still there. He's had a much better run on the outside compared to me there. Still oh, there. this is close racing. This is much more like We're it right. compared to Adelaide's. This racing is awesome. All right. I suppose because there's not really that many heavy braking zones. Hold your line. Keep it steady. We're right. Got him up to fourth. They're very fast bathtubs indeed, Potato. Although after today's stream I could definitely do with a bath, that's for sure. Nice bit of opposite lock there. These cars are so much fun to drive, and just completely different than the trucks. I mean, I know that sounds obvious. I mean, one of them weighs like 300 kilos, and one of them weighs like 12,000 kilos. I, I don't know what the exact numbers are, but there's a bit of a difference. But I wouldn't say one is substantially more enjoyable than the other. They're both... Oh, bit of a concertina effect there. They're both super enjoyable in their own rights. But it is a bit... <laughs> it is a bit of a shock to the system, jumping between them, going from one to the other. All right, that was a terrible last corner then, losing time. Although they're getting stuck into it up ahead, we've got nine tenths behind. There's no fifth gear, get your hand off the, off the gear stick bulk. Slow in, fast out. That's it. Get the upper one. Oh! No. That's not a corner. You go side by side through. The guy ahead is I didn't expect to catch him so quickly, but now I'm on the outside. It's going to turn into the inside, but they defend it. Couldn't really make that one move either. I don't think it's going to rain, but it does look pretty dark in the sky. 10 minutes to go. This is a hell of a fight. Wow. Loving this. This is what it's about, guys. This is proper Formula V racing. Wow, big slide. Not a single complaint from the tyres. Oh, wall of death around the outside. It's There's no grip out there. Big slide. Is reeling you in. The gap is now zero point four eight. Be careful with those gear shifts. Come on, stay focused. Apex is an exit. Apex is an exit. Much better run through the final corner left. there. It's left. Lap. Only lap. just the fastest lap of the race. We're all closing on the leader. We've all got slipstream. Four-way battle for the lead. We're within half a second of each other. Keep it steady. Hold your line. That's not a side-by-side -side corner. Wow. You learned that the hard way. Got to be strategic with your move here. Because now that's kind of bringing fifth place back into it again. Although, that's a much tighter line. They just backed out of it then. Did they run wide or something? Do they have a problem? That was a very easy third place. Ah, oh, I never get tired of the opposite lock. 
definitely get with this Formula V. Because these are street tyres. These are all weather street tyres, so you can just kind of get those slip angles up and it's not slow. It's kind of, you're sliding it, but you're not really losing grip because there's not much grip to lose in the first place. Alright, it's got a good run here. Nice, there we go. It's going to be another personal best of the race. Guy in seconds pulling to the inside here. I'm going to pull to the outside, see if we can get him on the outside here. We're all there. Matching race pace, P3. That was a 140.51. Okay, no side by side through the chicane, just patience, Dan. See, now I'm in a much better position to fight. Literally right behind him. Left side. Still there. But now I'm on the outside. They're going to have the pace. This is what happened to the guy in third last lap. I managed to hold it. Ah, offline. That's going to leave me vulnerable to old mate yellow behind. Okay, Dan. You're halfway home. Got plenty of fuel. Wow. That's only half the race. Feels like this has been going on forever, this battle. Cheeky dive from the guy behind there. Give him a bit of space just in case. I don't want to turn in and then get span out. So just got to be so careful. If there is any kind of overlap with the AI and AMST, you can't turn in. Because you will get yeeted into the scenery. And apologies again, my chat appears to be not working in the headset, so I'm not getting any messages. The last one I got was John Miller, push, push, push. So, uh, if you are saying anything, I do apologize. Streamlabs, just throwing a wobbly on me again for some reason. It's getting really annoying, this. Stick to the plan. Don't be intimidated here. The leader has just done 140.38. I just want to communicate with you guys, you know? I just want to see what you're saying so I can respond to it and no doubt you've got like witty banter going on in the chat. Oh yeah, you know, you're having a good put down. Which I do enjoy. That second! Nice one. That was a sneaky move, but now he's going to get me back on the outside. We're going to have to just keep on the inside to defend it here. Or just outbreak myself, that'll do. Left side. Because I was too shallow for the corner. Just trying to get the run Clear to the left. on the outside. Doesn't work. Is he going to get the cutback, though? Nope. Survive. That's another spot up to second. That was scruffy, but hey, it worked. Okay, next lap is going to be a quiet lap because I really need to focus on getting Hector. Or oh, Hector, sorry, not Hector, Hector. There's no there's no C in that name. Alright, enjoy the sounds of Automobilista 2, Formula V at Santa Cruz do Sol. Headphones on, volume up. I literally can't get distracted by check because I can't see it. Last time was at 140.46. Okay, Dan, that time's
And there we go, that's a quiet lap. We've got 3.09 on the clock, we've got two laps to go. Making a move into the first corner here, we've got the overlap done. I'll break myself, I'm going to be tight. Still there. Keep it tight. It's going to be side by side through the chicane, that's not going to work. Hold your line. It's not going to work. Right. They were always going to do that. And now that's bringing third back into the mix as well. Car right. Hold your line. Clear right. Left side. Oh! Left Yellow's side. making a dive for it. Wow, where the hell did you come Still from? There. Hold your line. This is amazing racing. Hold your line. Clear left. Oh! On your right. That was me. I tried to go for the cutback. Clear to the right. And I misjudged it. I didn't realize they were getting on the brakes that early. Back down to fourth after running up in seconds. There's going to be one lap to go after this. Left, two minutes to go. This is like MotoGP racing. Anybody could win this one. Right side. Hold your line. Still there. He's still there. Clear right. You're clear. This is anybody's race, okay? Last lap, here we go. Again, apologies, I can't see you in chat. I don't know what you're saying. So apologies for that. You've just done a 141.32. On your lap. Clear to the left. Right side. Hold your what line. a dive! Keep it steady. I'm going to try and defend it around the outside of the chicane. Still there. Clear to the right. Car right. Big send. Hold your line. I see a gap, I'm going for it. Still there. Still there. Well, you're right. Only a few more corners to go. Keep it up. Back up into second. Right Old mate Yellow's in the lead. Steady. Hold your line. Well, you're right. Right side. Hold your line. This is Formula V. Clear, well, clear to the right. Oh, I think the gap might be too big now to try and get that win. Only two cor three corners to go. Now it's two corners to go. Last corner. No, oh, it's not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough. Or is it? Or is it? Or is it? There's the line. Ah. Clear right. Wow, what a race. <laughs> right side. What a race. Still there. That Clear was right. that was intense. That that is what Formula V is all about. That is what Formula V is all about. That's one of the best races I've ever had against the AI and Automobilist 2. Not none of, none of that Adelaide nonsense. This this is where it's at and i'm gonna i'm gonna pause that and refresh the chat because i can't see any of your messages there <laughs> sorry apex shaver i didn't see any of those mate i didn't get any of those messages let me let me just catch up now let me just skip this cooldown lap and let's actually let's actually read some of these messages that you guys have been sending Side. Hold your line. Clear left. Ah, uh, Pinky. Hey, good to see you. I'll have to drop. Abrié stalls. I'll have to drop two positions for that sixth place finish. I'm not quite sure what you mean about that one. Um, it's two places up on trend. <laughs> Is 
Yeah, it's so many... So many messages. I'm so sorry I've not seen any of these guys. That was a proper broken shove. Hey, watch it, Olaf. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy the Bear, Boggy. It's awesome, awesome stuff. Thank you, Vushal. Thank you, Jimmy. Thanks, Apex. Thanks, John. Thank you, Sean. Car left. Yeah, I don't know why chat keeps on bugging out on me. But anyway, let's switch it over to this. Ah, oh, wow, sweaty work. Second position. Fastest lap of the race, though. Fastest lap of the race indeed, though. So let's continue. So we get 26 points for that. Qualified in fourth, finished in second. Championship-wise, I really like this track as well, Apex. First time I've ever driven it properly. I think it'll be good in GTs. There's a lot of long sweepers, you know, lots of... Uh, Constant radius corners that really focus focus your inputs. Love it, love it. Okay, so that puts us into fourth in the championship. Only eight points behind the leader. Which is good. So now if we switch it back over to racing life. And we can see what's going on. If we press advance and put our results in. So we have got round two of the Formula V World Championship. That's what we just did. Qualified it in fourth, and the race result was a two. So let's finish that. We have earned 0.67 fame and 2,700 dollars in sponsor money. So once again, Aral, our sponsors, uh, being very nice to us, being very nice to us indeed. But because that's well, if we just remind ourselves of the sponsored deal, uh, if we finish in the top 10, we get an extra $1,875. And we get $825 per race regardless. So that is good. So we're now on 19 fame, 45 experience, with $68,545 in the bank. We are getting closer to having a major trophy in the cabinet. This Formula V World Championship. There's a little empty spot down there. That could be the first one that we claim for our collection. Who knows? But that that was... Phew, what a mix of content that stream was. We went from truck racing to Formula V racing, all different kinds of tracks and weather conditions. Awesome stuff, thoroughly enjoyable. And you guys voted for this. Let's not forget that you have voted for the type of series that I'd be racing. You'd voted on whether or not I do the Euro Championships, the type of truck I'd be racing as well, my sponsor. Uh, this is very much your career as it is Bulk Brogan's. I'm going to get rid of this headset now because it is incredibly warm here in Brisbane, Australia. Ugh. Let's put the trademark hat back on. There we go, that will do. Wow, sweaty work. <laughs> 12.08 in the morning. So it's, uh, yeah, it's now Friday here in Brisbane. Um, I would have a light fan on my face as well, Apex. The only problem is, you'd hear it on the microphone the whole time. It's it's uh, it's not ideal for, for streaming and recording. I've tried it before. <laughs> uh, I've got AC, Jimmy. I've got a portable air conditioner unit working behind me, but the amount of heat that this rig puts out is ridiculous. And to be honest, that AC could um, probably be a little bit beefier. Yeah, uh, Colin, definitely. Make a note that Formula V has to have lower AI in the wet. 100%. 100%. Uh, Niehe, how is the classification on the V world? I'll show you. Here you go. That's where we're at, at the moment in Formula V. Uh, we are fourth in the standings. Eight points off the lead. And if we go back to our truck championships, you can see we are third in the standings. Three points off the lead. Now, if we have a look to the schedule, you can see that if we go to advance, we've got, uh, well, next stream, we're going to be doing the Formula V World Championship round three, at least, and also the finale of the trucks. So there's a truck championship on offer at Alton Park Foster's next time out. Three points behind Gabriel, one point behind Felipe, three points ahead of uh, Clodoaldo, 
So it's going to be a tight fight, that one. I can't wait for that next time out. I'm not sure when that's going to be, though, to be honest with you, because next week's a little bit busy because I've got a race room video coming out for the new December update that they're releasing. Um, I've got a VR tweak video coming out for AMS2, um, a nice little tip that improves your visual clarity at absolutely no performance hit whatsoever. So keep an eye on that if you race VR and Automobile Listener 2. Uh, it's an absolute game changer for me. It makes it look so much better. And also there's going to be on Friday, if you're in Europe, Saturday if you're in Australia, Saturday morning, I'm doing a multi-class, oh I just got cramp in my foot, I'm going to be doing a multi-class stream and I don't know what car I'm going to be driving yet. It's a Christmas special with SCB in race room. Uh, we only find out 24 hours before the race what car we're going to be driving. It could be a Formula 1 car, it could be an NSU, it could be a truck, it could be a GT3, it could be anything in race room. It's open. So uh, I've had it picked for me, or I'll have a car picked for me by someone else at random. And we all don't tell each other what we've picked, like a secret Santa. So that's going to be on the Friday or the Saturday, depending on where you are in the world. And then on the Monday after that, on the 19th, I'm going to be doing a charity stream with Gravel Trap Legends. I'm going to be racing... Well, actually, I'm going to be racing the first car that Bulk Brogan ever raced. Let me go back to my driver history. The Copa Classic FL. I'm going to be driving the Puma GTB at Bathurst for 90 minutes in a multi-class race. And it's for charity. Um, I've chosen Are You OK as my charity, which is basically a mental health awareness charity here in Australia. Um, the entry fee for that race on Monday the 19th was basically each driver had to donate to a charity of their choosing, and that was mine. Any donations that come through on that stream will be going straight to charity as well. So... Yeah, lots of fun stuff going on on the channel. So basically, I don't know when Bulk Brogan is going to be back. It's probably not going to be next week. It might be the week after. It might be a, a pre-Christmas Brogan with a, I don't know, some kind of Santa beard. I don't know how, how, how even that's going to work. Just, yeah, anyway. We'll see. Subscribe to the channel. Press notifications to keep an eye on that. If you really want to keep in touch in the meantime, there is also a Discord server that I hang out on and all the people in chat hang out on as well. Uh, exclamation mark discord there you go uh, exclamation mark shill in chat don't forget to like subscribe comment and if you enjoy the music then there is a playlist on soundcloud for all of the music as well so check that out anyway 12 12 a.m i think it's definitely time for me to sign off and get to bed soon guys thank you so much for watching that was so much fun <sighs> i can't wait to get this off it's oh there we go has been so itchy the whole time. I feel so much better. Where's Bolt gone? <laughs> DDF Racer signing out. Look after yourself, guys. Bye-bye.